Welcome to my channel, Level Headed with Divi T. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and set the bell notification to all. Please also share this. Let's get into it. Don't wait up. I've been working hard every day, living dreams for a pay stub. Yeah, straight up. Five years later, like I said, I would make it on my way up. It's all love. Coming from the nation, made a foundation, true stuff, yeah, too tough. We ain't giving up on our dreams, everything is ahead of us. Stay true to your path, it's not where you start, it's all where you're at. It's where you end up when your back's to the mat. Do you cripple the flat or get up off your back? Deliver these facts to see them react. The stadium's packed, they all gonna snap. The motivated attract, the isolated attack, the frustrated hit back. Yeah, we move fast. I wanna change everything. People here listening while I clean. Hello, Chris. Hello, Sazzy Nas. You didn't get the day wrong. I was making sure everything on the back end was uh, tidied up so that uh, the trolls stay out of here, as I do with every stream. Um, let's see here. Who else is here? Sazzy Nas, Bling, Amanda Gonzalez, Dino, Nightbot. Welcome, 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 Nightbot. Hello, Chris. Hello, Dino. Hello, Lori Davis. Hello, Brandy. Hello, Kelly Thunder. Hello, Nana of Six. Hello, Elizabeth Brighton. Hello, Adam. All right. <clears throat> I have, uh, I spent the weekend, took a long, uh, long thinking and weekend on this case. Hello, Darkness Exposed. Um, took a long thinking this weekend on this case. And um, I started reaching out to some people as my last video is started to bring uh, locals in and uh, getting their side of everything here. Uh, if you see my eyes going everywhere, it's because I have like three screens up. Hello, Blondie. I have uh, three screens. I have my computer down down here, and then I have screens up on both sides. Um, hold on here one second. I want to open up an article, and then I need to shut down my messenger just for a second. There we go. And uh, share my screen here. So this is, um, and I will do the screen bigger here. This is missing uh, four-year-old Lucian. Um, Lucian went missing at Sarge Hubbard Park around 7.15 on Saturday, September 10th. 
Lucian is autistic and nonverbal. Lucian was wearing blue shorts and a blue shirt with a shark on it. This one pictured here. Um, I'm going to show a better picture of Lucian. Uh, this one is just an adorable picture of him. And uh, let's see as that one opens up. Here he is. Looks like he's playing in the water. Where is Lucian? That is our quest today. Hello, Believe. Uh, what I want to do is we're going to go. There's this great article. We're going to go into the article. So I have some uh, local pictures of the area to give you a better idea. I've also uh, have been speaking with some locals that we will call uh, uh, Jane Doe 1 and Jane Doe 2 as they are not to be named um, as I will keep their um, I will keep them separate as we uh, go on here. Um, he looks younger in this pic. Yes, he does look younger in this pic. His hair is a little bit shorter. Uh, maybe this was when he was three. The reason why I chose this picture, though, is you can see the water. He loves water, and he likes to play on water. But I still don't believe that water is where he is. And there's a reason behind that, and it further is proven as we go into the victimology. But what I want to know is, is then you locals that are listening, we'll get back to this because I'll open up panel in a, like a little later. After I go over the victimology of this, we're going to open up panel. So I want to know who... What party was there as I got it on the scanner? So what party was there and what happened at that party? With all those people that, that was at a party at the pavilion that I've gathered and um, some other stuff that I've realized while they were searching, uh, there's a lot of homeless people that have uh, encampments there that are made out of sticks, made out of uh, like kind of like a kind of like a blind, like a cover, like um like a underground uh switch yeah sprandy isn't he um kind of like um like a cover while they were searching there was a searcher that stood on top of somebody's home which was uh covered all by woods and uh like sticks and branches and trees and stuff and uh we uh we we're gonna get into that hold on here one second Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, we're going to get into that uh, a little bit in a little bit here, but we're going to go over victimology. Let's get to know who Lucian is. And uh, Sandra, if you're listening to this, thank you very, very much for speaking with the um, with the news reporter, giving them some insight on who Lucian is. As uh, that's what we're trying to do here is figure out who he is, what he likes to do, what he doesn't like to do, if he knows how to swim, if he doesn't know how to swim and um, getting to know like who he really is. And it was a great, great interview and a great, great article. And I'll be reading it. It's pinned in my um, description. So if people after this want to go uh, uh, take a look, um, my reasoning for ruling out water uh, actually ruling out the ponds. I'm not going to rule out the river yet. That river moves too fast and it's too big. But I'm going to rule out the ponds. The reason being is after two weeks, he would have floated to the top already. So even if he would have went in there that day, you would have been able, at some point, he would have came to the top. Uh, so... This, the, this is going to be important, this victimology, and we're going to get into it right now. So um, there was, hold on here one second. Let me close that, close this. Uh, let's go in, right into the article here. Uh, Yakima Herald. So this is all out of uh, uh, the state of Washington. Uh, if you haven't watched other videos, uh, I just type uh, hashtag Lucian in my, on my channel. And uh, you will see some stuff there. So uh, Lucian is confident, smart, sea loving. Family says as they continue to search. Uh, very, uh, Katie Smith, thank you. And um, Katie Smith wrote this article. And um, I want to thank her. As if you're listening to this, I I'm going to repost it back onto your um, 
your page here as well, this video, because you what you just did for me is help me to be able to rule some things out here. So one of them being um, he knows how to swim. So we will get into that here in a minute. We're going to go over this article. This is a picture of Lucian and the Flyers sit on the table at Sarge Hubbard Park, Washington, September 22nd, uh, 2022. And that was last Thursday. Um, we got uh, Lucian is independent, confident, capable, and smart. These are, are the traits described by his family that gave them hope as they continue searching for four-year-old who has been missing from Yakima for two weeks. And this, this is um, very, very important stuff here. So Lucian was last seen at September 10th, walking across the parking lot of Sarge Hubbard Park and toward the Yakima River and other bodies of water. He was wearing blue shorts and blue shirt with a shark on it. So now I'm going to break this down right now. So, um, Let's see if I can go back to my, uh, let me bring up a map here. Because I that, that, that blows my mind. I don't know if she just wrote in here. If she miswrote, I'll be sorry for misspeaking here. But that's not, so if he went towards the park, if he was last, Lucian was last seen September 10th across the parking lot of Sarge Hubbard Park and toward the Yakima River and other bodies of water. He was wearing blue shorts, so across the parking lot. So that's what, um, that that's where my confusion is. That's why I want to bring up a map here. So as we go along here, um, we will uh, show the map of the parking lots. Uh, but if he was last seen, Sarge Hubbard Park, walking across the parking lot of Sarge Hubbard Park and toward the Yakima River and other bodies of water. I don't know if that's just a phrase. I'm really thrown off by this statement here. And uh, it was the top parking lot. Uh, hmm. And I, I will be getting up panel here in a little bit. I have a lot to discuss today. And... Uh, I will open panel in a little bit. We're going to break down the homology of this and my reasonings why he's not in the water. And everybody's uh, entitled to an opinion. I think the kid was actually, I'll, I'll give you what I believe. I believe the kid was actually taken at the park. I believe that uh, there's no foul play. I also, and I could be 100% wrong. I believe he was not in water. And that's my personal opinion. Um, and I believe that he was abducted from the park here. So, um, but that's my opinions and everybody's entitled to their own. Um, it's just something that I believe in here. And uh, I, I, until there's something that proves that he wasn't, uh, I have no proof that he was anywhere near any water. The, the last thing said that he was walking in the southeast direction, which would be this way. So there's no parking lot in this. This is south. There's no parking lot in the east location. On my map, uh, switch over here. So this is south on the map. Um, this is south. This is east. This is west. So he was moving in the southeast direction, which would be southeast would be this way. There's no parking lot there. So I'm confused. So they're saying that he left the park. He was seen walking across the parking lot. Um, so was he seen walking across this parking lot over here? There's a parking lot here. There's a parking lot here. A parking lot here. So which parking lot was he seen going across? According to this article, the river's over here. So if he went across the parking lot to the river or to the lakes, well, you'd cross that parking lot to go to the river but you don't cross any other parking lot to go to the lake. So that's why I don't understand to uh, Tony Hubbard Nelson. It was stated at the beginning that the dogs lost scent at the warehouse behind the Walmart. Okay. Which this would be the Walmart. Uh, here is 
uh, auto parts store. There is a fence there. I don't know how big the fence is. And this would be the where they lost his scent here is what Tony Hubbard is saying here. So uh, um, we'll get into the east parking lot. So the east parking lot would be this parking lot. So you have seen walking across this parking lot in this direction. Um, but that wouldn't be south because uh, unless they parked way over here and they're claiming that's south, but southeast, this is south, but that would be straight east. So there's no way that he could walk across that parking lot. That would be the, he was walking that weird, that's news to me. I thought it was because they lost scent due to the sprinklers. I don't know. But I will open up panel. We're going to get back to um, the article here. And then uh, we will, I'll open up panel a little bit. Uh, let's see here. That That's his life. Sea life, said his mother, uh, Sandra. On Friday at the park where the family has stayed for two for the last two weeks to coordinate the search and meet with volunteers and pass out flyers. Hera's uh, Lucian was wearing blue shorts, uh, blue shirt with a shark on it, which would be this shirt. And on, on it when he was missing Saturday evening in Sarge Hubbard Park, uh, 111 South 18th Street, Yakima. So I do have the uh, broadcastified uh, recordings of when he was reported missing. I also, hello, everybody coming in, Iris, uh, hi. Uh, who else I miss? Savannah came in, Yaya came in. Uh, did I miss anybody else? I don't think so. If I missed you, I'm sorry, but welcome in, everybody. Um Lucian is autistic and nonverbal. Verbal, though he isn't able to have, a, though he isn't able to have a conversation, he can speak and communicate about the things he cares about, namely sea creatures. He can name all sorts of sea creatures, from fish to sharks to whales. He says uh, echolocation and sea anemone, anemone. Words some adults may have difficult difficulty pronouncing and he knows what they mean his family says so we're learning about lucian and who he is and what he can say what he can't say what he can speak what he can't speak and if he likes water or not we're going to learn a lot about him it's going to take a little while here uh hello frosty um he can name all sorts of sea creatures so we did that it was his third birthday and he had just opened a package of sea creature toys from his grandpa. When he said his first full sentence, his mother, Sandra, remembered, a beluga whale has uh, echolocation or echolocation. Um, this fascination with all the things sea had led the family to say, in both humor and certitude, that he'll be a marine biologist by age 16. His... Uh, I, I was I was laughing because that is awesome to be a field uh, to be a marine biologist by the age of sixteen. That is so cool. Uh, that's why I chuckled because that's like something that's like um, important to him with sea creatures. And if he likes sea, he liked water. So and hence my picture. I don't think he's in the water. And there's going to be a reason coming up in this article why I don't think he's in the water. His capability and the drive he has. It's amazing to see the passion he has as a four-year-old, said his aunt, uh, Amy, uh, of Spokane. She is one of many family members from across the state to drop everything to come to Yakima with Sandra and Lucian's father, Juan, until the boy is found. Here is a picture. Uh, Uh, Lucian's great uncle and his sister, uh, Lori. Lucian's grandmother gets snacks from the family, from the community donations at Sarge Harbor Park, Washington on September Thursday, 2022. Um, let's take a look here. Okay, so the family search. The family members have been 
leading the search for Lucian since authorities pulled back their search about four days after the boy went missing. The family's efforts include searching the area on foot as well as in rafts, kayaks, and other watercrafts, distributing flyers, and garnering community support. They remain in touch with law enforcement officials who are still actively investigating the boy's disappearance. Officers walk the perimeter of the pond near Sarge Hubbard Park each morning looking for signs of Lucian and check in with the family each day. Um, he was also autistic. I don't know what it is with autism in water, but after hers passed, we learned it's the number one thing that kills our kids with autism. I don't know why they love the water. Um, I don't know either. Uh, I wonder if the little boy has a DX of uh, alpamet risk. My daughter does, along with her autism. I wonder what angels of video, what angles of video that Walmart has. I do too. All right, I'm going to continue on here. So they remain in touch with law enforcement. So that's good. So they're cooperating with law enforcement. Law enforcement's coming around and uh, just checking that body of water, which is very curious. I'm I'm curious to ask why after you had divers out there and stuff. Um, it's now been since the 10th. Um, his body is smaller. If he was in that water, he'd be at the top already. If there's no foul play. Uh, many family members are staying in a motel uh, to to be near the park. Lucian's mother said she can't stand to be far from the scene, which is understandable. Each evening, the family gathers for a vigil and prayers uh, to recenter. When we have the moment, that's when we call everyone over who's nearby. We pray every night for his safety and we'll see him soon, said another aunt of uh, Lucian's, which is Angela. Uh, Sandra said she can't begin to describe how grateful she is to have the support of family. I can't even explain how grateful I am for that, she said. Even the volunteers, there were no words for how grateful I am. The family appeared in, Sar in Sun Fair Parade on Saturday and planned to attend Central Washington State Fair this week as a way to reach more people in the community and continue to request help from volunteers. That's a good idea. Because my theory is, is that somebody took him at this park and he could be out there anywhere. Um, so getting it spread out to as many people as possible is very important in my eyes, because I don't believe he's at that park. And the, my reasoning is I was uh, re-going over the search patterns and the search efforts that the police did. And then uh, I, I was back there on Saturday to dive that lake after private divers had already been out there. And I think they just needed to check it off their list. I could be wrong. could be 100% wrong. It's just my gut feeling is, is that somebody took him. Uh, more about Lucian. So here we go. Learning more about him. And this is important to me here. Lucian is a very independent child. And welcome in, everybody. Don't be shy. As uh, all opinions are welcome here. I know a lot of people listen to me while they're working. Uh, I do see there's a lot of people here right now. And don't be shy. Nobody in my chat's going to bite you or, or uh, block you or anything. So don't worry about that part of it. Um, hear more about Lucian. So, and I titled this live for a reason. Everything that I do here on YouTube is done for a reason. The way that I do it is done the way that I'm doing it for a reason. There was a party there at that park, and I want to know about that party. I want to know whose party that was and how many people were there. So, hello, True Karma, Shannon, James, Ivy, Addiction. Uh, I know a lot of people work or a lot of people are in the background doing their own uh, YouTube stuff or social media stuff. So, uh, Lucian is a very independent child, his aunt Amy said. He's just so content in being himself and knowing himself. So there we have, uh, I know my kid would spot water and know where it is and plan a way to get to it. That's what she did when she wandered away at school. She was found in the water, of course. Yeah, but I'm a, we're going to learn something really, really bright about uh, Lucian here in a minute. And, and it comes from the parents and hopefully hopefully what they say is factual. We're going to take it as factual being coming from the parents. So Lucian is a very independent child. So he likes to be what I take what I take from that. Sorry, it refreshed here. 
Did they just update it? No. Okay. I'm just making sure they didn't update it on me. Uh, all right. The family search. So more about Lucian. So he's very independent and he is content in being himself and knowing himself. Those are important. So he, he likes being independent. He can play on his own is what I gather from that. Uh, sorry for the flashing of the clothes there. I'll cover it up there. Um, she said, that's always been clear about him. The older he gets, I don't see anyone being able to bring him down. Lucian has beautiful dark hair, his aunt sa said, and dark eyes that grow even darker with bags underneath when he's tired. You can just tell when he's played so hard, his aunt Sarah said. He loves being around family, including his two siblings and my many cousins, but mostly enjoys playing by himself. He doesn't understand hide and seek or other children's games, his family says, but he loves to poke his cousins or other family members and say, I'm going to get you before running away. He, all, he also loves the outdoors and playing outside. So that's why we can still see him out there, Amy said, uh, living his best life, playing outside without adults. Here's just a picture of Arturo uh, Ferraras and uh, Lucian's cousin and Jose Flores, Lucian's uncle. Look at a map at Sarge Hubbard Park, Washington on Thursday. So they have like a whole thing out. They have little marks. They, they, they're doing a great job. Uh, a great, great job here. So here's here's what I find interesting. And this is why I say he's not in that water. So, and this is my beliefs based off of what they, what they told this person, because these are in quotes. So Lucian, he loves to swim, quotes. Lucian loves the, uh, love for the sea, translate to other bodies of water, including pools, baths, and even puddles. He loves to swim, Sandra said, which is his mother. For a four-year-old, he knows how to swim. He knows how to swim underwater and come up for a breath. So Angelo Flores remembers a recent uh, afternoon at Lucian's grandmother's house, which has a pool in the backyard for grandkids. Lucian was so excited to show her he could swim, Angela said. He's brave, she said, getting him to leave the pool when it when it's time to go home is always a challenge, multiple family members recall. His real meltdowns are when you try to leave a pool, said his uncle Trevor. You, you have to pry him away. If he was not ready, it was not a good thing, Sandra said. It's hard. He'd have to pick, he would have to pick him up and carry him away. Lucian even likes puddles, according to his grandmother. Um, it could be a puddle this big, she said, making a circle with her hands, and he'd try, he'd find it, play in it, and come back all muddy. Lucian's aunt Sarah agreed. He doesn't like the things other kids are into these days, she said. He's grown up more like we grew up as kids. He wants to go outside, play in the dirt, and get dirty. Sandra said that's just fine because he also loves bath time. There's another picture of his grandmother at the park. Um, though he isn't, this is learning tools. So my reasoning for him not being in that water is he knows how to swim. He knows how to go under and how to come back up. And the thing is, is if they, if they really saw him go missing at the time that they saw him going missing. So uh, my thing is, is that they would have seen him in that water when they went to go search when right when the father went to go search um according to what i know from locals is there was a party there so there were several people around and um if you're at that party and have video and you you need to turn it in because any little tiny detail could help in this case hopefully everybody's turned it in um what do I got here for questions? But he may not have had lessons I've not heard yet. That's the greatest gift we can give our kids, especially uh, doesn't mean they haven't, I guess. No, um, 
let's see here. I know my kid would spot water. This is probably taken. I agree. I just have a sinking feeling when I see water around where my kid with autism is. I agree with you. Uh, I'm surprised that no one, no one person hasn't came forward from the park that night. I haven't seen anything in the groups anyways. Doesn't mean they haven't, I guess. Well, it doesn't. But the other thing is, is that I'm being told there was a party there that at the lodge. And I those people need to come out and speak a little bit. And maybe they have. And maybe they were, maybe, maybe they just don't want to be named. I don't know. Well, I feel better if... I, if he had a pool at grandma's, I thought we shouldn't get a pool, but then learn opposite. If they have one, they are less likely to run away to water. Yes. I wrote that before you said he, he knew how to swim. Laugh a lot. No, I know you did, but, but he learned how to swim at his grandmother's pool is what I'm taking. I don't know. It didn't say anything about having swimming lessons, but I'm sure if he knew how to swim, um, and just playing around in a pool as a kid that, that age, you would know to have roll on his back so that he wouldn't sink to the bottom. Um, I just think that teaching every kid how to swim at a very young age is very important. Uh, it doesn't matter what, if the kid has autism, if the kid doesn't, um, I just think that it is a trait for them developmentally that they should, um, take in. And that's my own viewpoint. Um, and my own feelings. So learning tools of him, though he isn't enthralled with technology like other young children, Lucian does use verbal learning tools and listens to music. His family says when he uses the iPad, it's almost always for learning activities, which is how he, he has learned the names of so many sea creatures, more than 50, according to his mom. There is a video out there where he knows how to count to 10. And uh, he, he knows how to count to it. Uh, yes, kids need to learn early. Yes. Um, he does know how to count to 10. And it was very, um, I, I found that very interesting. So here, this fall, Lucian started in a program for autistic children through Catholic Char Charities called Applied Behavioral Behavior Analysis. It's a program that focuses on helping autistic children learn to communicate and develop social and learning skills, his mother said, which is very great. I am so, so uh, glad that they're doing that because uh, let's help our kids be all they can be. Uh, whether they have a learning disability, it is, Levi, I have seen so many uh, pediatric drownings that, that come, the outcome is either vegetable or they, uh, yeah. And uh, ABA, I feel. Oh. So um, she said he attended the program for about two weeks before he went missing. One of the communication skills he picked up it, in that short amount of time was to point out, uh, point at his mouth when he's trying to speak or communicate. That is very, that's very good. That's something they use there. And he was already catching on, Sandra said. He learns so quickly. And although he doesn't often speak in full sentences or carry on conversation, he is able to communicate. Um, his aunts, Amy and Sarah, said he learned ways to let people know his needs the same way he learned the types of the sea animals, by hearing something and repeating it. If he falls down and wants someone to ask if he's okay, he says, are you okay to them? Because that's what he's heard other people say, uh, said Sarah. If he's hungry, he asks, are you hungry? So he does kind of uh, the reverse opposite. Uh, when people ask him, are you hungry? Um, uh, he knows to answer with, are you hungry? That means that he's hungry. So his grandmother, Lori Bailey, said he also uses gestures for please and thank you. Other behaviors like bouncing, showing that he's excited or happy. She remembered one greeting from him that captured his boundless energy. He came, he came one day just running and, and he jumped in my arms and we both fell to the floor. Then he said, hiya, Gigi. She said, Gigi is the name her grandkids call her. We sure want him home. So now we're going to get into showing affection. And uh, I just, if you get all go over to this article on your, on your uh, 
web page and I'll put it here in this thing that because let's get social media traffic. Um, hold on here one second. Let's get uh, social media traffic to there. So the more people that see that uh, this website, the better it is, the better this article is, the more it's going to stand out. They go by website tracks, website views. They also have a Facebook page, a Twitter up here. There's an email there. And then uh, you can copy this uh, article. So you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, and everything there. Yeah, I'm so grateful. They're showing victimology here. They're showing who Lucian is and how he was with his family. And uh, I don't even, I have a feeling that they didn't even know. Uh, the misnomer is the autistic people can't learn. That's not true. They can be taught like uh, anyone else. They just communicate differently. That is correct. And uh, all kids learn differently, autistic or not. Uh, they all don't learn the same way. So there's different methods in teaching a kid how to do stuff. And just because they're autistic doesn't mean that they can't learn just like everybody else. They just learn in a different form. That nonverbal term is annoying at times. It often gives people the wrong impression of capabilities. I agree 100% because it gave me the wrong impression a couple of days ago. So we're here, uh, showing affection. So Lucian is also sweet. His family said, Lucian shows affection to his mother and some other family members by holding their face in his hands. But it, but it's always on his terms, Sandra said. Just like he spends much of his time playing independently, he, al he also often doesn't want to be touched. So he'll walk up to me randomly, grab my face and give me a kiss, Sandra said. He sits on my lap or brings a blanket to tuck over both of us. But he's not super affectionate all the time, she continued. My daughter, she likes to be held forever. With him, it's on his terms, his time. The first time uh, he told her he loved her was before he turned three, Sandra said. She remembers the moment vividly. He walked up to me, put his hands on my face, and said, Mommy, I love you. Mommy, she said, after I held him for as long as he let me. So I want to, those are some very, very good traits. So this one baffles me with the water. So what I want to do here, and I'll open up panel here in a fence and we'll go over the nine one or the, the calls here in a minute. Um, I have to bring them up the scanner feed uh, don't underestimate our special needs kids. Uh, they swim. Uh, no, my son is autistic. He is on his own terms. Yeah. Uh, is this blurry for anyone else? Is it blurry for, for you guys? Yeah, I'm going to try to not make it blurry. Is it still blurry? No, you might have to like pause. Uh, True Grandma Shannon says it's blurry. Here, let me take off this. There, is that better? Sometimes you have to change your... Um, uh, no, it's good. Yes. Sometimes you have to change your resolution. So let's go back to this park. This article said that he walked across, he walked across the parking lot here. And, uh, what I want to do is let's, I'm going to open up panel, Elizabeth, Amanda, if you guys want to come up, no problem. Anybody else is welcome to come up. Sassy, if you want to come up and everybody's welcome to come up. There's the link. And then while we go over this, I want to show this kid's face because I have a the southeast location would be him going this direction. So this is south. This is east. So southeast. Did he go across this parking lot like this? I don't know. So that's what I'm here to figure out 
And uh, I have some messages from a local and I have actual pictures of the actual hills that I'll be showing here in a minute. I just want to make sure that uh, actually I can uh, start working on that now. While uh, if people want to come up here, I dropped the link. You're more than welcome. Anybody, uh, anybody's welcome to come up here if you want to talk about this. All right. Um, hold on there one second. I'm going to bring up actual pictures of the park. I just need to save them really quick. So give me a second here. All right. So this is, this is what one person. So I've been um, behind the scenes working with people. And honestly, the river isn't that far. There is a paved path that goes right past the park and along the river. So I don't know how the distance. So see this little thing over here in the corner is 100 feet. So I guess if you take this little thing, I'm going to measure it while I'm alive here. Hold on. So this, this equals 100 feet while I'm on live here. And from the parking lot to that path where the, I'm measuring right here from Yakima, from right here to right here with this little thing says 100 feet. So my little post-it fits completely from that path to the parking lot is 100 feet. Uh, the parking lot looks like about 50 feet wide. Um, let's see here. That river is a ways away, though. Uh, Elizabeth, I'll add you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Any updates as far as uh, locally with the FBI search? They haven't made have any kind of comments. So I have two feelings about the FBI and why they were there. So one is those private divers found something. And two is they needed to check it off for themselves. I'm not really familiar about how how the FBI comes into this. I was assuming that maybe if somebody thought it was a kidnapping, an abduction, that maybe the FBI would get involved. I'm not sure if it, they've been involved all along. Um, no, I, I don't. They have to be asked in, so they just can't. They just, they just can't come and say, "Hey, I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming into. We're coming to search." They have to be asked. So maybe that was the plan the whole time, and they were finishing up another case before they came in to dive that the pond. Well, I heard that the divers were from the East Coast, so maybe it just took them a while to get them here. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting, though, that um, that they were there. I just still don't feel, I don't know, there's a lot of people that were still there on Saturday. While the park was supposed to be closed, there were still people there at the park. Hmm. I know someone said that the family was next to the park the on the property of the hotel um in the grassy area but i i didn't hear about other people being the, in the park yeah well i have pictures from saturday that were sent to me from somebody that was there oh okay but i'm not gonna put i'm not gonna put the people on blast that there's people actually at the park that day um i actually i just want to make sure that this picture is okay here i'm gonna save a couple pictures here to my role so uh and i also have the the calls that were made to 911 oh that would uh, be nice to hear that well 
dispatch, not the 911 calls from the father to 911. It's the dispatch afterwards. There was several things happening all at the same time. So there was a fire reported along the river at one point too. Um, there was also uh, a gray van that they were trying to pull over. There was also, um, and then they then the call came out about the kid missing. And uh, it seems to me like from what I've heard so far, and I'm trying to cut it down because they're like, there's a lot of dead space in between them. So I want to get uh, Saturday, yes, Sunday, no. Uh, Tony Hubbard Nelson. Uh, Saturday, yes, it was locked down on Saturday, Sunday, no. Is that what he's saying? Or Saturday, there was people in the park and Sunday, nobody was in the park. I don't know. I think it was locked down on Friday. Because my son was didn't... working on Friday and he said he saw that the FBI was there. He drove by and he saw the tape. So I think it was Friday when it was locked down. Wow. And then they opened it back up yesterday afternoon. Hmm. Um, I'm going to unshare my screen real quick. I'm going to open this up. Now I'll share my screen again. So here's the park. Here's the hill that they like to play on. Right. So, so that hill, so the hill's facing um, west. And yes. I think I think the last time we spoke, I explained that the hill wasn't actually very tall, but since they were just little kids, you probably could not see them from the parking lot. Yeah, um, I'm going to take that down. Let's, uh, I just don't want to show the kids in the picture. Um, any other thoughts here on uh, what's going on? Well, um, I have something, but I don't really want to talk about it because uh, it's, I don't want to talk it, it publicly about it. But there is yeah. something that that um, uh, happened. I can't. I can't remember what what day it was. It might have been yesterday. Um, but for pu for public use, it's probably not a good thing to. I I more than happy to to tell you privately, but not publicly. Yeah. I agree. Here, I'm gonna take this picture back down. I'm gonna download another one here. There's a better picture of the park. Yes, that's a better picture of the park. And then you see the, um, the toy area, um, the little playground area, the building next to it is the bathrooms. And then the area where they would have had the party was in the gazebo. It would be farther to the right from there. And again, we're looking east. Yeah. So this just gives you a little bit more of a thing. So if you were in that parking lot, which is directly behind this, right? Right. So if you're in that parking lot, your kid comes running down here, you can't see them. No. Not so. if they're small. Maybe if they were teenagers, you could. But as small as he is, no, you would not see him. Yeah. Hi, Jesse. Uh, Friday is when they had...
Friday is when they had all the bystanders, so that is why the whole park got locked down. Yeah, well, yeah. There um, was a there was a ladies. You, oh, go can ahead. Can you clarify? Can you clarify? Was there a party at the pavilion on on uh, the day you went missing? To my knowledge, there was. To what I've gathered from other local citizens, and it's just not one. I have several local citizens that uh, have reached out to me privately and told me the same thing. Um, what, is this a case that uh, uh, that I, I'm not blaming the parents? So uh, I don't do that until law enforcement gives us a reason to. And um, I make that clear on every case that I cover because I can't imagine their kid being gone. Uh, whether the stuff is true or it's not true, that's not for me to decide as they're already living a nightmare. So if uh, if there may be some things going on in the background. So do you think they went to this park not to play, but to go to this party? No, I don't think they were involved in the party at all. I think it was just to come play. Okay. Um, the reason why I asked that question is because they did go, quote unquote, they went to the other park first, which was his favorite park to play at. That's what I heard, yes. So it doesn't make sense to leave where he really likes to play at to come to this one, unless if something else was going on at that park and it would be hard to keep track of the kids. Right, because there it's a you know a lot of baseball fields and stuff there, so there could have been, who knows, a tournament or, or a lot of practice or something at that baseball field. I don't know, but that's just what you know. I would theorize. I mean, it's been two weeks. Well, longer than two weeks, right? Yes. Yeah, it was two weeks on Saturday. Yeah. What? Uh, if he was, if he was in the, those those ponds or lakes, he would have already come to the top. So, unless there's foul play. Mm hmm. Um, but my understanding of with water, I followed another case early, uh, like a while ago, it was the Cal Mormon case. And uh, it was about two weeks worth of time. And he's an adult. And uh, he had come to the water in, uh, uh, in, in the two week period as an adult. Um, and he had a way bigger body mass. So uh, being a, a smaller body mass, uh, he would have been already surfaced, in my opinion, from looking I, at statistics and other reasonings. I do know that in a lot of these ponds, I don't know about the one that right next to the, the park that they're talking about, but here a lot of the ponds have a lot of debris and stuff in it. And sometimes they do that on purpose because it gives them fish habitat um, for the fish to hide in or spawn in or, or whatever so i'm not sure if there's a lot of debris in there and if he would possibly get caught up in the debris if that would keep him from floating i don't know enough about uh, it to i got you that makes sense that's a good way to look at it um i just feel that there was divers there already once that did the shores i just feel that uh Um, but if he knew how to swim, I guess he could have got way out there, but you would think once you see him go missing, uh, that, that water, that lake is not far from here, right? No. And he would be visible because there's grass all the way down to the lake. Um, uh, and that's what kind of is interesting because that this might be an older picture. I'm not sure, but um, when I was there a couple of weeks ago, the grass was beautiful. It goes all the way down to the lake. You can just sit on the grass and, and look at the lake and stuff. So it would be kind of hard to believe there wasn't anybody just sitting there, maybe having a picnic or, you know, had their kids there or, or whatever, because supposedly there was a lot of people there that day. Um, so from the park, we got one, 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet, about 300, about 400 feet from the, from the park to the water. But there's people everywhere. If you, if you 
right now it looks different than the picture that you're showing. It's there's just like pure grass now. It's all grassy. I don't remember seeing any of like the dirt. But if you're if you're looking, you we have one, two, three, four pathways, five pathways that come off the park, and one of them comes right next to um, the lake. And so that's kind of the reason I'm like it's it's to me it doesn't make any sense that someone wouldn't see him because we have all of those pathways. It's all green. People are sitting everywhere, meandering around. And if a little one fell, even if he could swim, fell in the lake, you'd think someone would see it. That's what it looks more like now, right? Yeah. Yes. I have another one. See, it looks more like that. There's a lot more green area. Yeah, and a lot, the other part of the park is over there. They have a, they've built a little bit more onto the actual park part of it. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I want to say that they they did a bunch of work to it about three years ago <clears throat> to upgrade it. I have another one to leave here. Yeah, here's another one. Uh, I'm late. Did they find him? No, Scott, they're not yet. So this is standing not up at the actual park, but this is standing further away and t somebody took a picture going down there is somebody flying a kite but that would be the walmart parking lot right that's walmart there so the picture where it starts it's actually before the hill they're probably standing right by the playground itself and then the picture is it shows the little dip of the hill and yes that is walmart so that camera over here on the edge of walmart would uh, capture them on footage I thought it was further away, but that's not that far away. It's not very far. No, it's no. not. So that would capture anybody that's over here in this parking lot yes. or on this grass. Right. And then that's the bottom parking lot. And then behind this picture where the person was standing would be the second parking lot. Yeah. So this picture here, um, I don't know. No, 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 right. I didn't get it. Uh, you would yeah, think that, someone would have seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's my point why uh, something else is going on. So he was on camera there at the park. Uh, we do know that for sure. It was done in a statement from the police. Um, the other thing, hold on here one second. Hold on one second, okay? Okay. Hey, Callie, can you come up here for a second? I have a phone call coming in, so hold on here. Uh, it's pinned at the top, Kelly. Pretty please. Or anybody to hold a conversation. Uh, pinned at the top there, Kelly. Uh, Kelly does research in the back. I don't know if you watched her on Sluggish Sleuth uh, yesterday. No, I didn't see that. There she is. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to mute yeah, out. No okay. You guys can speak. Okay. Off. No problem. Hey there. Hello. Hi. So, um, I was just, there's some questions. I don't know um, how well you're familiar with this case, but there's two questions that I know I personally have. Um, I'm wondering what, do you know what the mother's work shift was that day? No, but I heard that she, she was working at the time and they didn't notify her until um, like an hour after the police, after they called the 
please. Right. Okay. Okay. So the other question I have is, do you, do you happen to know um, what, like what their day was? Like what led up to them going to the park? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I know that they've, they've said that they come to this park a lot, but I don't. Okay. So he is familiar with this park. Like I've read so much, but it's hard to retain when there's, there's been a lot of, um, which is common in true crime, but, um, you, you read a lot and you, there's discrepancies and stuff. And I'm just trying to get like the simplified version of things, you know? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's the big thing I was wondering. I don't know if anyone in chat, let me look. Yeah. They anyone... said that they said that they went to Kiwanis park a lot because, and that's the other park. Um, and because he called that like the spooky park or whatever, and he that was his favorite park. But then they did go to Sarch Hubbard a lot also. So oh, I, I'm pretty sure that they've been there several times. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Let me go back. Let me see what anyone's. Does anybody have any like questions or topics that we can bring up when Level gets back? Um. Let's see. Um, I'm really curious about the Walmart. And, you know, I got to say, it's been really hard to, with the north, south, east, west. Like, I know what it looks like on a compass, but it's different when it's like in a park. And so right. um, people are saying, oh, well, the dad was up in the east parking lot. And the east parking lot, I assume, then that would be the one with the playground right right so the best thing is if you if you're doing as a reference um and looking at the park walmart is to the west of the park okay oh so that leaves west so that's okay so, so we're in, looking west in this picture if you see this picture that's up we're looking west let me get out of here and look okay okay hmm that makes sense now okay so in the parking lot that he was last seen, look, okay, see that picture that we're looking at right now? I don't yes. know, I'm on my phone, but it looks like there's a person in there. That's what I'm seeing, like it sticks out, like you would see a child. I mean, unless he's running 100 miles an hour across that field. Um, well, see where it's like lighter green? Yeah. That's where the hill goes down here. And this, I think this picture doesn't really give the hill credit because I think the hill's a little steeper than what it looks like from this picture. And they like to, to like roll down the hill. Right. Um, and if the, if there's a four year, cause I looked, I was there on, on uh, the first Monday and Tuesday and I actually got up and just kind of looked and I was watching the kids roll down the hill and stuff. And the little ones you couldn't see once they oh, were over the hill but there was still tons of people at the park that night that would have been on that other side right that should have seen him that's that's my concern too because that pavilion is up on the upper platform or i don't know what to call it um up where the playground is you would have a good vantage point of the whole park yes you would from the pavilion yes absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So that's so there's a there's a play the playground and then right next to the playground to the south of the playground is a bathroom and then to the south of that a little bit is where the pavilion is so right. they're kind of like almost all in a row right hmm. it's very it's mind-boggling you know mm -hmm. i think what's throwing me personally off is the fact that they have him on camera like the camera picture that captures him, but nobody else saw him. Right. So right. That's, that's strange. And they said they verified that it is him. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of little kids who look the same, have dark hair and long hair yeah. and stuff. That's kind of the thing right now. There's a lot of kids. And I think what concerns me the most is the story has changed over time. Mm -hmm. First, it was they uh, went back to the car to change the diaper and the kids were rolling down the hill. And then there was another story, which I don't remember. And now it's saying that when the father got there, right. he let the boys out of the car and went right, you know, to the back to change the diaper. So 
how do we he's, get clarification on that? Like, I don't know, but but wouldn't he have seen Lucian go across the parking lot? Because that's where the car would have been, and that's, that's where I'm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wish that there was like, um, you know, like what people uh, bring like family mem family members on alive to discuss cases. Um, I personally like very pointed questions to to clear up things like this, um, rather than. Like, you know, I actually, now that I think about it, have they gone on any interviews other than the news? Small. Clip? I don't think, I don't think so. No. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I'm a extended family member, so I know probably a little more than everybody else, but, okay. but I kind of stepped away from it after a few gotcha. days because I had questions of my own. Right. Gotcha. That makes sense. Um, yeah. So that's, that's my thing is I would love to just have like, if we could pick like five questions, very simplified questions that we can ask and get answers to. And that's a big one about, I was under the impression that when he pulled up, <clears throat> that the diaper change took place right as soon as they got to the park. You know? When, yeah, the first day, because I was out there for two days with or a day and a half with them and the first day, that I was there was, was the Monday after he went missing. Um, that's not the story I was told. Gotcha. So, so that's why I'm questioning it. I'm like, I'm hearing different, different, just different little stories about that in particular. Right. Concern me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's natural when you hear something completely like different, your mind obviously, obviously is going to be like, wait, what's, <laughs> what's up here. Right. Um, Oh, I don't and know. I'm somebody who re I'm somebody who remembers like every little detail someone tells me. Yeah, you know? yeah. I might I yep. I won't remember your name, but I'll remember the conversation. I know I'm like that too. I retain the most like it doesn't make sense what I retain. It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is very interesting. Let me see if chat has anything to say. Um, yeah, so. The family, we've seen the family of Walmart. Um, yeah, so that's, yeah, Jesse, it's true. We do need to find out how long they were at the park. Like, we don't really have, like, an, a timeline, like, like, honed in, right? Right. We have, I think another concern that a lot of people have is because the father hasn't done an interview. Only the mother and her sisters have done an interview, and the father was the one there. Right. He, he's not commenting on it. Right. Yeah, I thought about that. I think it was this morning. I was like, you know what? Actually, because um, I know, like, um, in the Jalissa Fuentes case, like, her parents have, or family has done so many interviews. And I'm like, actually, have they done any interviews at all? Um all I've seen are clips, like on the news of the mom. That's right. It. I think the the interview that um, was showed earlier, where it was on the Yakima Herald Republic, where they had quite you know quite a story on it. I would say that was probably the first interview, other than just a few second clip or seeing right. mom in the back, or seeing mom in the background while the the reporter was talking or something like that. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know what is recommended to people. I mean, as far as like a PR standpoint, but people have a lot of questions and it's getting pretty um, heavy in some of the groups. I've noticed <laughs> some yes. of the Facebook groups because we, when, if people don't have answers, they're going to kind of try to create their own scenario or theory until we do get answers. Right. That's just human nature. Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> so that would be good. Um, so let's see. Um, now the other child six, only yes. six. Okay. That's still pretty young. You know. And I, and I heard that the family won't let him be interviewed, but that's, you know, we don't know because it's just speculation. I don't know if that's true or not, but I heard that they refuse to have him interviewed. Oh. This is a combination of both families participating, right, in like the search and all that. 
Right. Both family sides. Both okay. families, yes. Um, does anybody else want to come up and join our conversation? Try and figure this out. I think the link should still be. No, I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> he has to drop <laughs> link. And he just. Um, <coughs> Sorry. He, <clears throat> just trying to <clears throat> look at um, people's comments. Yeah, and I'm trying to be very cautious and make sure that if I say anything that I say, that's, I can't oh, I confirm can that because. I don't yeah. blame it. I mean, I myself just like going on and co-hosting on Sluggish Sleuth. I'm still, I try so hard to um, <laughs> watch what I say, but it's super hard on these cases because it's kind of like damned if you do and damned if you don't right. bring up topics. Um, yeah, Sassy, the brother is six. Oh, yes. And then the, and then the little girls too. Okay. So, I mean, again, I think it's just a written down. I wonder if there's a, mm, do you think the family would be willing to answer like, uh, like, let's just say three specific questions? I mean, it's it's worth a try. I have yeah. heard through from several people that when they've tried to, because they have their own page, and when they try to ask simple questions, they just get blocked by the family. But it might just be because it's just somebody and not a new, you know, not right or maybe a professional or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, maybe I'll try to do that and be as respectful as I can. Um, and hopefully I don't get blocked. Um, I don't think it's too far to, uh, you know, out there to ask like what they were doing that day. I'm just wondering if the kids were exhausted or if they'd been cooped up in the house all day. And so he wanted to run and stretch his legs. Um, I think that, you know, those are really good questions. Those are really good questions. And maybe, well, you know, maybe they would answer them. Kind of just a, a general idea of what right. the day looked like. Yeah, because just, I mean, my kids are well grown now. <laughs> but I do remember that it would make a big difference if they'd been cooped up or um, if we were on our last legs of the day. You know what I mean? Like right. how they behave. Um um, the older brother has short hair. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, do both boys fit the same clothes? No, the older brother is much bigger. Oh, he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I, that Lucian's kind of a little tiny thing and the older brother's much bigger. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I think, like, you know, they haven't shown any pictures. I haven't seen any, I don't think. Um, at least without the faces being blurred out, which is completely understandable. Um, sure. In this situation. But, um, just wait for Levi to get back. <laughs> I've tried to find some interesting points of view here. Um, <clears throat> You know, do you think this is possible? Okay, so you've been to that park before, right? Yes. Okay, so, and I clearly remember as a child rolling down the hill. We did that all the time. Do you think it would be possible that he got dizzy? And so if he, could you roll right into that water? There's no barriers. Um, well, I don't think so because there's a path there. There's like oh. a hill going down, and then there's a path. There's like a concrete path or uh, asphalt path where people walk. So I think once you got to that path, you wouldn't it would slow down be or... able to it. Yeah, and the hill that they roll down is not near the um, the pond. Okay. It's a couple hundred yards away. Okay, I remember now. That was my question. Like I think I've seen it, but I didn't know how much speed you could get going. Um, and then um, I do know that when kids see, this is where it gets tricky when I've heard about drownings that 
they don't necessarily make a big splash. They don't, you know what I mean? Um, right. It's not as like it would be if an adult hit was, you know, drowning. Um, gosh, trigger warning. I don't know if I want to go there. Um, well, I understand he knows how to, that he knows how to swim. Right. So. But I don't know if it's like the fear, if you fell in, oh. you so fearful, like this, not what you were expecting. Right. You know? And if it was really cold, it could have, it could have been very shocking oh, and stuff. Gosh. Yeah, that would. <laughs> yeah. And I would imagine it's pretty cold water up there. Um, Sluggy, you want to jump up? I think we're all like, in, um, us two are in agreement pretty much with everything. Do we have anyone who's got opposing views? Um, you know, and I mentioned it the last time, um, but he was just, they said that they confirmed seeing him somewhere other than, because one of my theories was maybe he was trying to go back to Kiwanis Park because it's just down the road and underneath the... Yeah. Oh. You know, and underneath the overpass, but then where they said they confirmed seeing him wouldn't make sense because that's in a different direction. Right. See, that's the thing is there's things that have been confirmed, but we don't know by who. Um, I feel like until law enforcement says it, you know, like, do mm -hmm. we know? Um are there any houses around the park? Um, There's so, a couple, I think. Yeah, so like I zoomed in. Oh, and I wanted to say so that the little junkyard or the, you know, the car junkyard thing they have. So when you zoom in, the fence, like there's, it's not like a hard chain link fence. It looked like it was, um, like it was falling down in one corner. So it's not like it would be impossible to get inside there. And I assume it's been checked. I believe people have said it's been checked. I think someone from the family went and checked it on um, Monday after he disappeared. Wow. They I think a talk. couple people, a couple people from the family, I should say. And I think, I swear, I think I did see some random houses in there. They were probably there long before um, it became like a commercial area, you know. Um, I don't know. So, but it, it's a popular park, that's for sure. And all my research, like this used for so many things. Yeah, they do a lot of um, events and stuff there. Yeah, there was like running, there was fishing, there was, um, gosh, now of course I'm going to go blank. Um, I can't remember what else. But uh, there was, oh, so, all right. I don't know if you know this, but so the parking lot where the dad supposedly parked with the uh, playground. Now, can could Lucian have walked to that hotel area? Like it's oh, called like my place. Sure, absolutely. There's just paths that go in every direction, yeah. and the the road that you have to come up with or uh, to park at the top, it goes right past right past there. And so it would be easy to access just about anything there. It's all kind of open. I wasn't sure because um, I can't remember what the date was. Most of the time you can look and see what the date is of the uh, Google Earth pictures and stuff. Um, you know, things are always changing. It looks like I can't tell if it's still being developed in that little area or not. Um, so you've got Walmart, you've got hotels. You've got a huge part. I mean, this could go all different directions and ways, you know? Right. And yeah, and they are developing. There's a house that's um, abandoned there at the park that I kept looking at. I'm like, can anybody check that house? But they said they did. And and I think it's going to, it's going to be the future home of, you know, something there. Right. So. right. Could he have zigzagged all around? I, that's what I was thinking too. Like, um, I'm not familiar, like entirely with like an autistic child's mind or just being a child in general, but I mean, they, whatever they see, they're going for, you know what I mean? Right. And, um, yeah. Was he known for wandering? The family says no. 
Oh, no. And then Sluggy asked, what kind of gatherings were normally at the pavilion? I saw so many random, like, there are so much um, reviews and pictures and events all over the internet. Um, fishing was the big one that I saw. And I think running, like. Um, oh, just- they do. They do a gap to gap thing. Um, usually every year and it's because we have hills and then we'll have like a valley and then more hills and they do a, a, a gap to gap that'll start at one side and go to the next. And yeah, we have, um, uh, I forget what it's called. And then they used to do a pirate, some kind of a pirate plunge there. It's, it's very, very popular. And at the pavilion itself, I've just, I've been there for birthdays and, and, right. You know, different just kind of birthday parties, anniversary parties or or whatever. There's a lot of there's a lot of parties at that pavilion. It's pretty nice pavil- pavilion. It looks like it. I'm wondering if you have to register like we have a semi big park near us with the different pavilions and different things. But you have to like re- you have to like pay in advance and, and reserve it. I right. wonder if you have to do that or they just take their chances there. I no. think I think you do. I think if you want to have a party, you need to reserve it. Otherwise, when you get there, it's probably not going to be available. So, okay, all right. Well, that makes that answers that question that I had. Um, gosh, I I'm just um, and I'm wondering also about the angles of that Walmart camera. Like I said in chat earlier, you know, Walmart has good cameras. Usually, you know, and is that a big Walmart, like a regular size one? Do you know? That's a super center. Oh, it is. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. Hmm. So. Well, and if they have to, and when you brought that up, I just thought of something. If they had to register or not register, but, uh, you know, um, get a reservation to reserve that, the parks should have the records of the person who the people who reserved it exactly which then could contact people they could get a contact list of everybody who was in that pavilion right and it makes you wonder how they done that right so focused just on the water you know um i always think it's best to do everything as soon as possible grab everything and then if you need it it's there for later on Rather than yeah. trying to hunt it down later, you know. All right. I, I was kind of, I was kind of uh, wondering why the, when the police got there, they didn't just shut it down and say everybody has to stay here. You know, you know, I, I, totally. I, who says it's actually a crime, but who says it's not? Exactly. You know how many times that they should have done that? So many times, um, shut down roads or whatever. You know, even I love that Walmart does that thing where they. I've actually been in Walmart one time when they've done the Adam Walt Code Adam, where they shut the doors because there's a missing child. And right. it's chilling. Like, it just sends chills. Like, oh, but it's so awesome at the same time. Like, we're not going anywhere. Nothing's happening until this child's found. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I wish more stores would do that. Yeah. And a lot of, and a lot of stores have been doing it for a while. My older son was, I think around three and he took, we were just getting to the checkout. I was taking him out of the basket and he took off and they shut the doors down. Oh, like, that's n- so- nobody leaves until we find this, ch- this child. So, right. yeah. You know, I just, um, like I always say, like all you have is your own experiences to reflect back on, you know, and, um, or, you know, other stories you've read, but, um, there's so many, like the two scenarios when my son went missing were things that were unavoidable, kind of like you just didn't, um, like I took him to a garage sale once, right. In a, in a, um, it was like a, like an apartment complex, like their little multi-purpose room. Well, I didn't even know there was a pool there. I had no idea because you couldn't see it. And I was, you know, wandering around looking at different things. And then he was gone. I thought, oh my God, where are you? Went running around. Well, there was an open door way, way, way in the back. And there was a pool out there. And that's where he was, out by the pool. I, I, I'm scarred from that. But 
I mean, unless you go there and survey the whole place, you know, you just mm -hmm. even see it. Um, and I would, and I would be obsessed with what if, what if happened, what if, oh, yeah. what if that happened? It would, it would yeah. be terrible. Absolutely. Yep. Um, there was another time when my, the other time I saw went missing is I took him to a laundromat and he had a ball and he was, you know, bouncing the ball. We were the only ones in there. And all of a sudden the ball, I, the ball, I couldn't hear it. And I thought, what? Went running. Well, way, like, once again, way, way in the back, there was a door that was unlocked, which I had no idea. Like, I wouldn't have thought they would leave that open up to the alley. And he was in the alley playing with his ball. And I mean, in just two seconds, you know, I mean, these kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still so scarred and he's 31 years old now. <laughs> yeah. My son's uh, 33 now. And I'm like, remember when? Yeah. He's like, mom, I was three. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. But it scars you as a mom. It does. Yeah. And it makes you kind of overprotective too. Oh, you know? totally. oh. yeah. Yep. So, um, I can understand. I totally understand how kids can vanish quickly. I get it. But this park is open. And now I there's just... this, this new, this other park that we're looking at now, that's farther north. Th that's this, not, is... This, this is not that same park. This is farther north on the pathway. You have to actually walk down the pathway or, or up, I guess, north um, quite a ways to get to this park. This park is pretty cool. It is very cool. So Wait. this would be on the Greenway path then, right? Yes. Right. Yes. And it would be north. It would be north of the park. You'd have, have to go north. And I would say it's at least a half mile, a mile to three quarters of a mile to get there. So would you say that this brush is what it's like there now uh, along the river? Yes. I mean, these were taken three years ago. That's just why I am asking. Yeah. Yes, it's all pretty, pretty much that. Brush, so. Yeah, we we have pretty heavy brush, and we have a and because we've talked before about all the homeless and stuff. We have fires up and down there all the time, constantly. Yeah, there, was a, there was a fire that night along the river. Yeah, I, I have it in the actual recording. Yeah. Oh wow! What yes. happens when you walk under that bridge? There's like a pretty wooden bridge. Do you know what happens? Like where you go when you go under that? Um, it's just the path and they all kind of meet up to one path that goes south. Oh, so there's okay. like about five paths that meet up to one and then goes south towards, there's an arboretum and a um, humane oh. shelter there. Oh, I did see. That was a beautiful, that, the, yeah. I can't pronounce that, the arboretum, whatever. That was really pretty. I saw that on the maps. Is, is this the actual lake? Yes. So this little pier here, there's like a little walking thing to come out onto this pier. Yeah, I think it has um, sideboards now. I'm, I think it has like si things on the side. Oh, like, oh, that's okay. That's the one I was thinking about right there. And then I think there is a, I'm not sure about that pier where that's at. It must be right at the park. Yeah, it must be right on the edge because it looks like a mm -hmm. decent walkway, but it looks like there's like ro like metal cables going around. You know, like I don't know. Like a post there, a post here, a post here. It looks like there's like metal cables. Yeah, probably. That's probably. Oh, um, maybe nothing. Hmm. That looks like it might be just like on the east side because it looks like the greenway goes right past there. So I'm just thinking that that's on the, yeah, where, see where they have like little bleachers and stuff that yeah. might be on that side. And then this is where they do the fishing things for the kids every year. Every year there's like fishing days where the kids get to go out and fish. Oh my gosh. I've been talking to myself. Um, <laughs> <On mute>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. I mean, that's a steep, pretty steep hill to come down into this lake, too. It is. It's pretty steep. And I can see, I mean, being a kid walking down this thing, you could fall and roll down the hill. Yeah. Yes, and, and that's the east side of the lake. There's the bridge. Is that what you're talking about, Kelly? 
Uh, yeah, it looks different from, let's see. I think yours is over up further, like further in the park. It's, it was more like accessible, like you saw it from the parking lot. Let's see. It's yeah, really it would be it would be west of this picture, a little west, and it goes underneath, and then meet, and then just keeps going as a as a walkway. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I found a picture on Google. I see. Now, I see pictures. I know that the um, the pavilion has been like the roof has been redone and stuff. It's weird because online you see pictures of it open on all sides, but on pictures on the news, it looks closed around it. No, it's open on all sides. It is. Okay. Yes. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Here's that little pier thing. Right. I know what she's saying, though, about the sides. Like, I, I thought I did see a picture of things that were, like, jutting out on the sides. I thought I saw a picture of that. Maybe they just bring that in once in a while for. This is the bridge you're talking about. Yeah. It's... Well, I think there's one that goes under also. Isn't there the one that goes under? Oh, one that goes under. That's the one. But you can find a picture online and underneath it. I hadn't found that picture before. It's really pretty underneath it. I just wondered if it led into like, you know, fields of trees or a forest or. Well, there's, there's, so there's more there's more greenery on the other side and there's another walkway that kind of, they all kind of meet up um, yeah. and then it goes towards it's more towards the river and there is a lot of brush and and uh, just overgrowth and stuff at, towards right. the river. Okay. I mean, there's like you know, a lot of these pictures. So this is from three years ago. I mean, there's people, other people walking here. There's, a, I don't think these are all together, but there's another person over here. I mean, there's the pavilion with no sides on it. This is that other entrance. And then right behind there is the actual uh, playground. Yes. Well, like, right behind this pavilion, kind of like in that area. Well, actually, yeah, the play, because that's the pavilion and that's the bathroom. That's you see past the pavilion and then the playgrounds on the other side of the bathroom. Oh, really? Wow, you've answered a lot of questions I had. I'm grateful. Thank you. See, it's not that it's not that deep. But there's a like, lot of milfoil and stuff. Yeah, I see a lot of leaves in there too. Yes. So when if you stepped in there, it would be really it probably uh, sink. Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, you would. You would probably sink to a certain level as an adult. And you know, children are a lot smaller than we are. So it's uh I don't know, I would think like a sponge is how I'd feel it was like right. a sponge when you walked in there. I wonder what he's gravitated towards in the past when being there. What were his, what were the things he was drawn to? See, that'd be a very good question to ask too, if they would answer any questions for you. I, I hope so, but. Um, See, my yeah. kids would have been gravitating towards the, the geese and the ducks and yeah. things like that. Not so much the water, but right. then they still would have been around the water because that's where they are. Yeah, it's true. And that floating pad, it, I mean, it, it looks like something a kid would want to go, you know, stand on and jump on or something, you know? Right, because that's interesting, not something they see every day. Yeah, and the shape of it and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. But again, I'm wondering, because you guys showed the picture of that other park, if he'd left the park, the, uh, they saw him leave in the parking lot going southeast and then he met up with another path and then went north he if he knows that park that uh, park is there he could have been heading there and you can't doubt a kid because they do memorize things that you don't think they're paying attention and they are oh know? i know i have i have a four-year-old granddaughter that remembers everything from two years ago and she lets you know about it too yeah, i'm just do. <laughs> <laughs> 
This, 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 one's a, this one's a nice picture here. Yes. So you got the, the lake is over here down this hill. Yes. yes. This is the pavilion where said party was. Right. This this is the bathroom here. Yes. And then over here, just beyond this over here would be where the the toys the are. Playground yes. was. So if he came walking this way in a southeast motion, these people here would have seen a little boy walking by himself. Sure. Just by even if he came southeast behind the bathroom and behind the pavilion, they still would have saw him. Yeah. And I like to think that most anybody who's even a parent that would, it would just catch your eye, a child walking alone. And his, his shirt's bright blue. Really, really blue. Um, yes. Yeah. Once you have to call the police about a missing three-year-old dog. Or the school calls them when they're lost. My child on the playground with four adults watching, you start to rethink a lot of things. Uh, they need a secret button. Yes. Or it, or those they have those, yeah, yeah. those watches that they have the GPS on them or something. Anything. Yeah. Yes. Or, you know, they have those, those um, bracelets that people wear when they have like medical conditions and something. Yeah, that would be I mean, if you could give get something that the kids would like, you know, uh, more, look more childish, and right. then have a GPS in there, that would be fantastic, because Absolutely. they'd still wear it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I was not opposed to a leash. I did that once in an airport and I caught all kinds of hell for it. Um, you know, the dirty looks and the comments, but I don't care. That was my baby, man. I was not going to take any chances. <laughs> I did that at the fair a couple of years. Yeah. I, if I see people doing where, it, I just... Where is this? Them. Is this the oh. river? No, that's a pond. That's not the river. The river is pretty fast moving and it has a lot of rocks and stuff. So that wouldn't be the river. I don't think there's a path right next to the river. I'm, gonna I'm just looking to see if there's more pictures throughout here. I'm gonna jump down. I gotta get busy on my paperwork again. Okay, thank you. I've been watching, it was nice to talk to you guys. Thank, um, you. thank you. Thank you. So, is there well, a lot of rocks? Yes. Is there a lot There's of a lot of rocks, by the... especially by the river. Yes. Now, that looks like the river right there. Yeah. Part of it. I mean, a lot of it is a lot wider than that, but that looks like the river. Hmm. Just cruising through some pictures here just to see. Yeah, this looks like, this picture here looks kind of like a slough, something that would just be off the river, but not actually part of it. Yeah, it looks like one of those little marshy areas. That yeah, they were showing. yeah. I mean, it looks like a pretty active park. Lots of people go to that park, yes. see a lot of people walking dogs and you know and families and yeah see this is what i'm talking about when you look at that see all the different um walkways yeah. they eventually just meet up Well, we're seeing those pictures that gives you a better idea. So this here, these little, where's the, ble oh, there's the bleachers. So that's more on the east and side. And that's the fishing pier. Mm -hmm. 
on. So the that where the bleachers are in that little the round thing, that's more like well you can see it's more like on the east side. And then you can see where that other one was that is enclosed on the sides. It's more north. And when they were searching, they were when I was there and when they were searching and what I could tell with the FBI searching, it was always in this northern west corner area. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sagi Schlitz, you can come up if you want. Do we know how deep the river is? I, I was reading someplace that there's spots of it right there at uh, Sarge Hubbard Park that's 37 foot deep. But that might not be true. That was like last week I was looking that up. Or the week it's, before, last week, I think. Right now it's pretty shallow. Um, yeah. But there are still some deep places, but it's pretty shallow because um, it's, you know, going towards the fall. There's not a, as much snow um, in the mountains that are going to uh, melt and come down. So that's where we get most all of our water is pretty much from the Cascades. Um, there are several homeless people that live next to the river. Some even have them slightly under the ground, not even joking. While there were volunteers out searching, they were standing there and some lady stuck her head out of one and informed them that they were standing on a roof. I guess it just looked like a pile of sticks. Just the pine had tape on it on Friday as somebody else has been going out there. There's um, lot, lots of homeless people there. When I say, I guess lots is there. It, it's like a whole community. It's like their own community. And uh, sometimes people think of like a, a downtown community of homeless people. This they're out, you know, these guys are out in the bush and, and stuff like that. And there's a ton of them for, a good six, seven miles. Uh, um, you want to listen to some of this or, or, or uh, is there river dams? There is a small little dam that is um, actually uh, probably about four miles from there, it goes into Yakima is like a valley, then we have some hills, and then it goes down to what we call the lower valley. And that's where a lot of little towns and stuff are. And there's a, a little dam right past those hills. And that's been checked several times. So... Oh, right, here, we can play this. Um, I just want to close what I had open here. We'll replay this. I'm going to mute for a second while it plays. A lot of shallow parts. Mute. That was from the FBI being there on Saturday. Yeah, and it sounded almost like they were looking in the river also, the, the pond and the river.
Yeah, it looked that way too. Uh, but my friend's house, oh, watched it take two days later. The people that robbed it was cashing checks in Western Virginia. Wow. I'm just seeing what else is on this. I mean, the community, I'm going to say this here publicly the community has done nothing but like help. So here's a prime example of the community helping. I mean, I don't know if his picture is everywhere out there, but this is pretty cool that uh, they put his picture up there and and uh, the phone number. And then I think there's a billboard also that was donated. Yeah, usually Lamar, usually Lamar does them by himself. I'm just seeing what else is here. There's some pictures in them. So this is from up top. Right. Well, this is from where the where the bleachers are. So that's yeah. on the east eastern side. So this is farther back. Right. Hmm. And then Buchanan Lake, which is the lake um, farther south, it's a lot bigger. Yeah. I the, the, Just my personal opinion, that's a long ways for a kid to go. Yeah, it is. That's a I agree. Lake. I mean, he wouldn't be able to see that. Like, even if he, I guess maybe though, because if he, if he saw that, if he got down here to this lake, there's no way you would have seen the river. Because I don't think, you really think he could get back up that hill? On his, like, well, I guess he could, but it'd take him a while to get back up the hill. From right. The lake. Unless he followed the path, which then there's a path that comes up, but that would take him a while. And then to get to Buchanan Lake, you know, it's it's quite a long time. You'd almost think he'd lose interest at that point. Here's a beautiful picture and credit to the, the lady that did this. This is a pretty cool picture. It is. It's very nice. Yeah. And there's a lot of people just by v reading, you know, the um, Facebook pages and stuff. There are so many people who are just devastated over this. Uh, you know, he's become quite um, important to a lot of to a lot of people. I'd say thousands of people who are so invested in in this that you know people want want the answers. They want him to come home safe. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through here. I mean, it's not like they didn't, this is, see, I'm just gonna show you some pictures. So here's search people. I mean, there's a lot of search people I mean, the first the first couple days there was hundreds of people out there and there was over 150 law enforcement or or you know searchers for you know, probably uh, just about any organization that you could think of were out there looking for him yeah um, I wanted to go into I don't think this is the right group, but I'm going to go into a group thing here real quick. 
Hold on one second. Let me go into the other one. So just so everybody knows, just a friendly reminder, this is a true crime group where we discuss the case. Theory, speculation, and discussion on anyone involved in this case will happen. I can see by some of the comments that a lot of people have never been in these types of groups. Also, uh, do not police comments or call names when you do not agree. Discuss respectfully or be blocked. Uh, I'm just so you all are aware. Um, I did hear on Kima this morning, the park is still closed. That was what, two hours ago that somebody posted. I don't know. What's Kima? Um, K-I-M-A, which is a uh, television. It's just the channel that we have and it's K-I-M-A. All of our stuff starts with a K. On average, about two and a half miles. Uh, Oh, she, uh, she says that's false. It's open. Yeah, because it was open yesterday. There were people there yesterday afternoon. When the dad realized that Lucian was not with his brother and nowhere in sight, I would imagine he would start yelling his name repeatedly, repeatedly and frantically while running all around the playground. Uh... There is a post somewhere made that I can't find it. The post was a lady's imagery scenario to help her heal. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm trying. Oh. So. Uh, I'm going to give you a perspective of the area here a little bit. So I saw this posted this morning. Uh, here's this is the river, right? Yes. I know you saw this one already, but here's a suitcase that's sitting down by the river. Uh, and I don't get into the other things where they said that that was a face or anything on there. I just thought it was interesting that there's a suitcase by the by the lake. Um, but I'm sure you have that all around over there. Yes, all over the place. There's stuff everywhere. You want to listen to some of this audio? Sure. Uh, but if the homeless live there, it's normal. Yeah, it's normal. Uh, we had a ho our house locked to like Fort Knox, so had no idea how our daughter kept escaping until I stayed up all night and started sleeping with her. She would use a broom handle to reach all the locks. Well, uh, he has really become our boy, and we all want him back and love him so much. Yes, indeed. Um, I'm going to play some of this recording here. Uh, I'm going to mute out. So if you, when, when you guys can hear it, put a one in chat. I haven't started playing it yet. I'll let you know when I mute here. Um, I'll be skipping forward on some of the stuff and uh, some of it, just a trigger warning. I had to start locking myself in a room. Uh, some, uh, some of this is going to be a, like a trigger warning. If you have sensitive hearing, now is the time to turn down your volume. Hi, Sully. Now's the time to turn down your volume because I'm going to play some of the 911 tapes and there's a lot of beeping right before they talk about Lucian. There's a 16 year old that was, I don't know if they OD'd or what, but uh, they did like the ambulance page where, where there's like really, really loud sirens. So, all right.
I haven't been watching, but I have too many can of pop. A lot of radio silence, so you heard where it said four-year-old. I mean, it's still playing right now. Four-year-old went missing. It was about two minutes ago. So uh, it's still playing. So there's a lot of dead silence as they're responding. So it's still playing. That's why I said there's a lot of dead air in between, which uh, kind of cautions me that they were using cell phones or something. That's a good point. Before it gets dark. This was three minutes after the original call. Where they're on site already.
I'm not more dead error here because a lot of times when they get on to um, on site like that, when somebody goes missing and they're looking for them in the park, they stay off the radios or a private channel. Yes. <laughs> Zillow City Respond, 11. Okay, I stopped it right there. So you guys heard what he said, right? He said the child was seen walking southeast from the parking lot. What parking lot? Because southeast from this parking lot is, is going right over here to the water. Southeast from this parking lot is going down here, but southeast would be this way. So south I, and yeah. east. I always just assumed that it was from the um, where the, the father was parked, but that's a good question because I don't know that for 100% which parking well, lot which parking lot did the father park at the top the just, top one we know the that one, yeah that one mm -hmm. fact. okay yes so then so that would be there should be no reason why he was last seen from walking over here then he was last seen walking from here which southeast would be this direction unless he was at the toys went down the hill and then just started walking off lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last scene from parking lot. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push play again, and then we'll hear. Uh, I, I'll rewind it just a little bit here. Twenty six fifteen. It might be loud for a second for people. Yeah, I have a feeling the, the Walmart camera caught him on. The, this Walmart camera, I think, caught him on camera. Maybe that's why they said it was verified. Yeah. Because it's not really that far from there to here. Really, in the scope of things, it's not. Should be playing any minute here. It might be loud for a second, but...
No, the dad part, um, I believe, the dad parked up by the actual uh, uh, par- playground up here. So if you left from the parking lot in the southeast direction, that would be going this way. But if you left from the playground, I mean, it'd still be going this way, but there's trails here. But if it's he, he left from the lower, but if he left from the lower parking lot, that would be like directly towards the lake. Yeah. And maybe that's where they saw him was this parking lot down here. And maybe the father saw him at this parking lot and he was heading this way. And maybe that's why they're searching the lake. And that corner, because that would be the closest where he would have been seen from, from that parking lot. Yeah. How do they really, it's still playing. I think I passed it up. Huh. It's hard to control it in Messenger. It was sent to me. Officer, landline dispatch, Nile duty officer, landline dispatch, Valley Fire, 
outside of those uh, cover patty where the pet party is at. One nine six on two. One nine six. Do you realize Walmart? Thank you, Bridger. I rewinded it. Well, I think the father's walking by the south side of those uh, cover patty where the pet party is at. Did you hear that? Yeah, the walk. The father was walking by himself where the pavilion's yeah. at. Yeah, but hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind it where the party is at. Right, I saw that. Yeah, I heard that. Where yeah. the party is at. So that confirms there was a party. Yeah. So what I want to, I'm going to re, I'm going to back up just a little bit, and we're going to listen one more time. Thirty-three. I'm checking the landing on the southeast end toward the river. There's a little path off of the farthest east path. Field, uh, the vehicle, license ready. Okay. 
Charles David Robert, 9167. So this feed was from the scanner from 718 to 748. It's still playing, but uh, that was more towards the end, so that would be about 7.30-ish. Yeah, said the child is partially verbal, but he does like water, and but he does run away, but usually he comes back and he's not listening to the phone. You're very broken. They come with food from the hospital. There's only a couple more seconds left of this one, and then I have time after this, but that will wait for another day. But They all have said that they have not seen the case out of what I can describe. All right, that's the end of that one. Um, right at the end there, did you hear them say that they were asking bystanders there and they have not seen the little boy matching that description? I heard something. I Sometimes I, I can't understand a lot what they were saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and then I heard them say that the dad was over there by the pavilion where the party was. And then he... He must, he must have told him that he runs away, but he doesn't stay for long. Yeah, he stay said he usually him? comes back is what. Okay. He does run away, but not for long, and he comes back. Parents said, no, I thought, girl, I knew it. Uh, yep. Uh, mom said he doesn't, he does come back. Interesting. Uh, they said no to him wandering off. Uh, but uh, so one thing I want to reiterate here. Um, you're talking about a panic. You're in panic mode as a, a parent. Your your kid is missing. Obviously, he started looking for him before he called 911. So the fact that you had to call 911 kind of kicks in your trauma and your shock and your humiliation because you just lost your kid. So 
so sometimes you're just trying to do everything and anything you can to get word out. You know, I'm sure the dad probably looked several places before he called. Um, I don't know. Any thoughts? Well, they said that he was there about, they were only there about 15 minutes before he went missing. Um, but yeah, I would be panicked. I mean, I wouldn't know what I would say. You know, if you're that panicked and freaked out, you'd probably just say it's the first thing that comes to your head. And, and sometimes it doesn't make sense to somebody else, but it makes sense to you. Yeah. So. Well, so I worked the Michael Vaughn case and, um, the, the trauma and the, um, the trauma, the panic, the worry, the fear, um, that all plays a big part in people's minds for a long time. And until you get your mind and you get depressed, especially when you're missing a kid, like over time and getting that fixed so that you can remember everything going on at that specific moment, like replaying it, reliving it in your head, like closing your eyes and actually trying to get yourself healthy enough brain wise after a trauma experience or a panic, like a, pretty much it's a big, huge panic attack and trying to get that clear in your mind so that you can remember all the moving parts and everything right now, they just fly off of the, off of the handle from what they know they're in high adrenaline. Um, I work well in high adrenaline. Um, a lot of people do as well. I'm very high functioning and high adrenaline. And um, so like when I go live, I just pick an article and then I piece it together as I go. Like I'm not one here to sit and plan out every single little thing I'm going to do. Um, otherwise it will be the worst live I ever have because I planned it out. Um, that's just the way that I am. So when the point I'm getting to is, is that the trauma sets in and um, things are said right away just because there's still high adrenaline. I mean, you're looking for your kid, your adrenaline's running like crazy. And some people can function that way and others can't. And you can't uh, not necessarily not remember everything. So I just wanted to put that out there because that's something that people experience. And then after they can, hopefully the parents are still eating and they're, they're like mentally getting a break, but um, because then the, the smallest detail could help in finding him. Right. And uh, I still go back to the fact that he was taken. Well, I, just, I, I, I think so too, because in with hearing this and hearing how quickly that they got there, it was just, would you say three, four minutes? And three then, to four minutes it looked like from the, the, when I see the time thing, I don't have it on Broadcastify. Somebody sent it to me, a local sent it to me uh, that's been following the case. They've been here in chat. Uh, okay. or Well, they haven't, but they've been watching because I uh, was showing some other pictures and stuff, and uh, they're giving me an explanation. You know how you said that's halfway up the hill to the park was the picture that was being taken towards the Walmart in the parking lot. Right. That was halfway up the hill to the park. And they were commenting while I was showing it live. But I don't know who they are here in chat. And I don't need to know. Uh, I don't need to know who they are here in chat. I want them to stay anonymous. As they've given me some other uh, good information. I mean, as the search goes on tomorrow, I'll probably play the 748 to 818. Or maybe later today, uh, at least put that the portion of the video out. Uh, I'll, I'll put both portions out of both videos uh, of both scanner feeds. So I'll go from 718 is where it will, or, uh, sorry. I have from 648 to 718 and then I have from 718 to 748. And then I have from 748 to 818. And what I'll do is I'll do them as separate ones and I'll title them that way. So you guys can listen to them. And, uh, then they'll be out there so that people can understand and listen and, and see what's going on with them. So they're roughly like a 30 minute, uh, one's a 17 minute clip from 648 to 718. And you have 718 to 748. And then 
We have uh, 748 to 818. So. The other thought I had, and, and with listening to this, that I think I got a little bit of clarification on, I think it was around 10, at the 10 minute time after they had arrived at the park, they were already searching towards the river. And yeah, he, he said there was a path that went right to the river from the parking lot, and I don't know her laser and, see. Yeah, I think it's, I, yeah, and um, yeah, if you see, I think that's it right there. And if that's the case, that's an awful long way for a little boy to go in, say, 25 minutes. I mean, it's possible. Um, it's not impossible, but it makes me feel better that they were already checking that. They were already searching that. So it, it comes back to concluding that he was taken because they were there so quickly. And um, if he wasn't taken, he should have been found. Well, I, by now with his body, how, how little he is, if he was in water, he would have came to the top. But I do get if there's debris in there. But I still think he would have swelled up by now and come to the top of that part of the of this of this water and that's just my personal opinion of this water these waters are probably almost dried up uh this lake here he would have probably come to the top already um right. my only right. fear the only water i do know that this was searched from here like way this all was searched over here but this was searched all the way down and it was searched past uh, Buchanan Lake, I think, I think they went to here in the river. So I ruled that out, but that doesn't mean that he didn't get into the river and he's further down. I guess my point was that because they were there so quickly and already searching towards the river and stuff, that makes it less likely that he got into that river because there probably were a lot of searchers around the river and he hadn't been gone all that long yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, and the thing that those people at the pavilion did not, they were asking people that were close there that uh, if they had seen him, and I wonder if they asked people at the pavilion, which would lead me to, I mean, this is only a hundred feet away. You can see you can see this walkway, right? When you're in the parking lot. Yes. So even if he got out of the car, ran over here, and then ran, let's say went back to the parking lot to check on dad and then left and went this way, dad would still have seen him walking back this way. Well, there's a little bit of a hill going okay. up to meet up with that, but I'm not positive how kind of tall that hill is. I think it's a pretty slight incline. But, uh, yeah, someone should have seen him going to the walkway going north, if that was the case. But if he was going southeast and going towards the river, uh, it just, even that path is a little bit away from the river he would have to have gotten off that path and gone gone towards the yeah. river and by then the police were there so i just think it's less likely that he had gone into the river because they should have um they were already searching for him at that point and then i heard there were hundreds of people out there searching that night so i agree with you that uh you know it was possible abduction yeah See, she makes a good point here. What if he got drifted away in the water and they just haven't found him yet? Well, that's my only thing. I don't know. that. Did you go down to the river when you were there searching? Like, uh, did you see the river? My, actually, I didn't search. My son and daughter-in-law searched. And then okay. my, hu my husband, um, on that next day, or that day on Monday, was searching from... Uh, pretty much what we call the gap where the hills are down where the um, 
the little dam is and he was searching this way and he actually got out of his vehicle and was searching and stuff but they had someone posted down at that dam i don't know how many days to see so if he had drifted down well, if he had drifted down they would have found him coming over the dam yeah well and, and i don't think he would have gone over the dam because the water's so low right now yeah well that's what i was wondering is in in the river because being a little boy, was it flowing that fast that it would it would knock him over? Um, that river flows pretty fast, and I think it depends on in which area that he would have gone in. I think yeah. you made the point before the, that that river goes pretty deep in some points, and yeah, that and the river deep. takes people every year. There's people who drown in that river every single year. Yeah. Uh, Money Penny, my theory. Dad went back in the car to do whatever for way longer than he wants to say. He told the boys to play together. The six-year-old got sidetracked doing his own thing and forgot about Lucian. Very good possibility. But this is a good point, too. I don't know. My daughter always got way further than they expected. She was always outside of the boundaries they expected, but she was also not just roaming around she would be on a mission and planned it. And she has an autistic daughter, by the way. Okay. Um, I believe he uh, he saw someone he knew, in my opinion only. Oh, well, or he saw, I don't know if the kid, they have a dog of their own that uh, I saw there was a reward fund that got away missing a couple days ago, like before this all happened. And there was a reward fund for it to come back in the neighborhood. Um, I did see that. Um, the, the family's find. the family's dog. That's what I was told by uh, somebody there local. That the family's dog got out, and I think everybody's confusing that with Lucian at the house, and I think it's the dog. I think the dog got out, and they were looking for him, and there was a reward fund. I don't know if that's speculation. That's what I heard. I don't have proof to back that up quite yet, but I do know that the family watches this and it'd be nice for them to clarify if that's true or not. Hmm. That would explain a lot where the rumors, like we've talked about before, the rumors start somewhere and then end up somewhere else, completely different scenario. And uh, because there's rumors and we've talked about it before that, that they had reported him missing the night before, but if that was, but maybe the that dog, was the dog. The dog from two nights before. And it just got turned around so many times that the story changed. Yeah. I also heard there was a reward in the dog, but that's that's hearsay at this point. Both of those, the dog and him, are hearsay until I have more proof. Sure. Um, Absolutely. I'm working on that now. I just want to clear it up for the family. I mean, uh, heaven forbid the kid gets taken by somebody, whether it's somebody that they know or somebody they don't know, and people spread rumors or hearsay or uh, stuff to go against everything. And, and bat that's why I don't like bashing families, because you never know. There's that one, there's that point, point 0.5% chance that, that he was abducted. And uh, I just, the thorough searches that they did, and the amount of people that were around, I don't know. I agree with the guy in chat. It was somebody he knows the person, or maybe he thought that he knew the person. Um, I mean, they did have a dog. So they he grew up with a dog. So if that's the case, then if he saw other dogs, he probably walked up to dogs. That would be a luring tactic. Uh, or, this time, this time or, of evening, statistically... Yeah is statistically the time that somebody would abduct somebody. Right. So, or or he saw a dog that looked like his dog. True. And if his dog had gone missing, then he might have thought that was his dog and was going to go investigate it. Uh, maybe he did wander off the day before, but they got him before they needed police with kids with autism. They can do it over and over. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, that's completely possible. There's a lot of possibilities of what's going like on. Seeing someone familiar and left. 
I, I agree. I agree. I mean, all these are good things. I just think, I just don't think that he's, unless it's the dive team that dove this, found something in that water uh, to put FBI back there. I just think that FBI came in to check it off of their list, let the professional, the professionals come in and do one last search. The dive team did one, didn't find anything. So they need to actually check mark it off that they can say for sure and for certain. Um, look at the Kelly Rodney case. They for sure and for certain check marked off Prosser and another dive crew comes out there and finds it. That could happen in this case too. But I, I think they physically wanted to go do it themselves. And the more the merrier, in my opinion, when it comes to searching the water. And they probably have better equipment, probably more current equipment, um, better equipment than, you know, some of the, uh, or most of the police departments in search and rescue and stuff because they're funded better. So, I mean, it makes sense to bring them in. And you said if you were asked to come in, that makes sense to bring them in if they have, they have the capabilities that we may not have locally. Water, uh, you're welcome, April. That's a conversation that needs to have. And I'm gonna, I'll play the rest of those recordings. I don't, I haven't listened to the other two. I just listened to that one earlier and, and uh, we'll play the rest of them. I'm sure they go on for days. I'm sure at some point they switched over to private channel, but water scares me. Mine every time she escaped, it was because she knew of a place with water and was headed to it. I mean, maybe they've gone fishing here several times and he knew the water was there. We don't know. Do they know for a fact he made it all the way to Walmart? And how far to Walmart did they track him? And Mark, I was in lava zone, right? You make sure wonder how they're done now. Okay. If he made it all the way to the Walmart parking lot, why don't they have him on the Walmart parking lot cameras? Well, I think, I think, um, I think they're talking about, I really think that this Walmart camera can see this. I, I'm not sure that they've ever said exactly where the camera was, where they saw him.
Hi, everybody. I'm back. Bring back the internet. Laugh out loud. I think it kicked everybody off, right? Was wondering if Level ended the live. No, I didn't end the live. <laughs> uh, my internet kicked me off. Um, looks like it kicked everybody off. Thought my ear pods died. Saved me from changing them. All right, so I was just told 45 minutes ago, Park is open post on Park page. Uh, yeah, I also saw that there's a camera at the actual train um, that is at the actual park, um, which was very interesting that there is an actual thing there, uh, camera there, which I will attempt to bring up, hopefully. Uh, the difference was is I turned off my phone, and as soon as I turned off my phone, then uh, then the internet would connect back. Quite quite comical here. Uh, maps. Let's go back to the park. See where this person. I have a, a local sent me while I was live. That uh, Sarge Hubbard Park. There's a camera over here by the train. Share my screen. Let's get back into it. All right, so he says at the train at the end of the roundabout. So what he's talking about is, is there is a camera right here on the edge of this building. Uh, that must have been how he was captured. In the parking lot heading southeast. So uh, he was on camera, but... By the time he got over here or whatever, or down here, wherever it was, uh, take two. <laughs> uh, I wish they could just check the Walmart cameras better. He either got picked up at Walmart or he made it to the Yakima River. Uh, that is interesting. Thank you. Uh, new information. Yeah, well, I just got sent that by a local that there's a camera on the corner of this building. I just can't see... Uh, when I put the little guy here, so this is from July 2012. They took off the Street View, July 2012. But supposedly there's a camera right here at the train. You know, I could probably go back to the parents, the pictures of the people sitting there. Pond one Yakima is a ways away, but the dad has finished there before seeing uh, eye pictures. I bet they have, but haven't told us. Uh, yeah. So um, I could drop the link one more time if anybody wants to come up. Uh, Elizabeth. Sorry, you got kicked out. You probably got nervous and like, what the heck did this guy do? Um, there is the link if anybody else wants to come up. Amanda, you're more than welcome to come up if you want. Um, and anybody else, you're more than welcome to come up. Um, I do want to check. I want to check one more time in the picture were sent to me. So, so I was told, well, obviously this roof has been replaced. Uh, I did get sent messages, so I just want to check something here. Nikki Jones, I live in Yakima. Something about this case is not right. Uh, agree. Agree. Um, I dropped the link. I could drop it again. There's a StreamYard link. Here's the link to StreamYard. If anybody wants to come up, you're more than welcome to come up to speak on this case. Uh, Levi, on uh, Lucian's case, there are cameras at the park. I'll be at the roundabout on the corner of the train building. Not sure if you have found that out. I have not found that out. 
That is good information. And this would be the train here. So uh, I was going to go back. Let me see the other pictures that I got sent earlier today. Um, hold on here one second. Um, I did drop the link. I'll drop the link again if anybody wants to come up. Uh, any locals want to come up, give your perspective. As uh, we won't bash the parents here, not until law enforcement says that they ha have not been cleared. But uh, Yakima Greenway, Sarge Hubbard Park is open. It's a beautiful day to get out and enjoy the Yakima Greenway. So... Uh, Yakima Greenway. So let's take a look at Yakima Greenway. I want to go back and take a look. Um, I thought I saw a picture. Of the parents, uh, I don't know where that was. I think earlier I showed it right. So give me a second here. Let me go to my uh, oh, you know, it was on that other Facebook page. So hold on here one second. That's where it was. Uh, let me just go here. Search groups. Um, Let me just make sure I got all that hidden. Looks good. Let's go to let's see here. Hold on one second. See if I can bring up this picture. Awesome. Somebody said there's a camera there. Uh, I can't go up, have a terrible cough, or I would love to. Oh, no. I hope you feel better. I wonder what the FBI is doing now if they're done searching the pond. No, Dad is remaining silent. Sorry I'm missing you guys here. Uh, yes, would be interesting to hear from locals. Yeah, Nikki Jones, if you want to come up here, or Patty... Patty, if you want to come up here, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to see, see all pictures. Maybe let's try this other group. Um, do any of you guys see the White Angel Wing Balloon Kiwanis Park? I got the chills following it and looked. Some houses. Uh, 
on the same day, if I am not to mistake, I've seen both mom and dad. I'll be 100% honest. I don't remember seeing which one. Do you remember seeing this one? Hmm. Uh, hey, Steve. Here we go. Uh, this will work. Friday afternoon. I was trying to find the one with the with the um, uh, and anybody's welcome to come up here. Um, anybody that wants to. I, I, Steve, if you're if you're not busy, it'd be great if you could come up here. I I know you watch my stuff, whether it's right away or not. I just want your take on a couple of things. As being a retired detective, it would be helpful. Uh, what I would do want to do here though is and I don't want to out the person. My kids and myself are also at the park. Yes. Hi, sir. Hello. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Just uh, left another interview and saw you, you was on. And so I said, well, let's uh, come over here and see what's happening. Yeah. So uh, I don't Have you been following Lucian's case? I've seen what y'all uh, covered a, a, a few times, but uh, other than that, they were sometimes going on at the party and, they was, and he just come up missing out of nowhere. That's all about all I know about it. Yeah. Um, You've seen the actual park, right? Well, you've yes, seen the it's a beautiful park. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful park, right? Absolutely. So the nine one. So I have the dispatch uh, recordings. I played them earlier, um, and pretty much the dad was seen. Let me get back to this. I guess I could have left it there. So when the police showed up, which was within, I think it was three or four minutes that they were there. So they supposedly they parked up here. This is where the park is. So now I'm seeing all the reports are saying that he walked across. First, it was from the park. Here he walked south southeast, which would be this direction. Now the reports are coming out that he walked from the parking lot in a southeast direction. Uh -huh. So I'm assuming it's this parking lot, not this one, because Walmart's over here. But maybe it is this one, and it did walk southeast. Because FBI searched this this weekend. Uh, I do know, but you saw my little clip on the um, the search patterns, right? That I played the, the other day, where they did yeah. thoroughly search this with different teams and different people. Yes. And then they did search the river as well, I saw. But it's a fast-moving river. Um. And I don't know how many divers I'd have to specifically go back and probably ask questions in order to know if we could mark that off 100%. Uh, if it's just one diver and he dove up this river uh, or two divers and they dove up the river, I, I'd imagine that they need some help, probably some more people to dive that. But but um, your thoughts here. Uh, what was, what's the timeline since he's been missing now? How many days? Uh, so he went missing on, uh, around 7.10 p.m. on September 10th. It is now September 26th. Okay. Right. He would have floated. Yeah. So my opinion, I was saying earlier, he would have floated to the top of that pond already. Uh, more than likely, unless he's in some type of a, 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 a structure, um, which yeah. in steel waters, that very rare. Uh, moving um, waters and made a lot of recoveries in, in both waters um, in my career. But um, um, in the uh, moving waters, um, 
bodies sometimes will drift a long ways, but most often not. Either there's shoals or there's uh, the trees or the brush on the sides uh, catches them. And uh, they can get pushed down and uh, be maintained due to the water pressures. I don't know if they've, uh, uh, I don't know if that, uh, if there's a dam that regulates that river flow and if they've uh, reduced it or not. Uh, well, there is a will. dam. Uh, It'd be upstream from there. They would go upstream, cut the river flow, and then, um, you know, you drop it two or three feet, four feet or something. I don't know how deep that river is, but. Any dams upriver uh, on the rivers that we had, um, there you know, most rivers have multiple dams, and you just go up to the one above and slow the and, and reduce the level of the river, and then um, you can quite often find uh, individuals at that point. Yeah, I don't know if they've done that yet. I just know that um, that it's and there may not be a dam up above it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're talking, there's a mountain, so. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know where the headwaters are. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't appear that there's any headwaters above that, is there? I mean, uh -huh. as far as a uh, large lake or something above. I mean, this is decent sized, and it looks like it feeds in there. Okay. Yeah, if, there, if there's a dam, that, yeah, there's, no. But if there's a dam on that, they can cut the flow, but I don't know if there is or not. I was reading someplace that's 37 feet deep at one point. Uh, and they were, comparing it to, they were comparing it to the Mississippi and how the Mississippi moves at one mile an hour. But that's it's so wide. I think this one moves faster than the Mississippi just because it's narrow and it's deep. Yeah, that is deep. I, um, that, that is odd for but right now they're saying that it's not uh it's not that deep right now okay but yeah i thought it was rapid yeah all right it's coming down out of that uh out of the mountains so mm -hmm. yeah so there's probably not any way they can regulate or cut the water flow down um which is uh, yeah. unfortunate but they'll still you know, um, they can bring in certain types of uh, dogs, train, um, and uh, run those, uh, um, some of those boats up and down with the dogs, canines in it, checking for the, uh, uh, for cadaver dogs. Of course, uh, they are specialized training in water environments. And um, um, hopefully, I mean, you know, the, uh, that they find him, you know, alive and well somewheres, but um, uh you know, water hazards. What's, what's the best time for a predator to take a child? Well, I mean, you know, it, uh, all of them work uh, at high, you know, uh, the predators understand the habits of family and children. They understand where they go. Their whole lives is dedicated to one thing, and that's finding children. Um, you know, and they go to where children are. And if he was abducted, they most certainly would be um, going to the playground areas. And that's where it's so important that everyone that's at that uh, area, that they check all their cameras because it's not what you were focusing on when you took a picture or you took a video. It's what's in the background, who's in the background, what vehicles are in the background. All that data can be important. Um, and, um, uh, most certainly, I'm, I, I, I hope and assume that law enforcement's done that. I don't know. Well, they got him on camera someplace, so they confirmed that he's there, that he was at the park. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to assume that that it was based – there's a camera on the corner here of this building. So I'm going to assume they got him on this camera. Now, walking in southeast, I don't know if they got him on camera walking southeast at all, if they can confirm that or not. But I do know when I was measuring that from, let's say this parking lot, and they said he went southeast, which would be over here towards the river. From, from this parking lot to this path here, which is called a greenway, it is about uh, 200 here, hold on. It's about 100 feet. So it's not far from that parking lot to get to that path, to walk down that path, and that path will lead out to the river. 
Mm -hmm. Um, I showed some pictures earlier. There is some pretty steep hills. This from this path here is way up top. Uh, coming down is pretty steep. So I don't, unless if he's been there before, I don't think that he would uh, walk down that big part by himself, but I could be completely wrong. Um, I don't know. You know children. The, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, children live, you know, of course they have their own little world that they live in and whatever strikes their answers interest at any moment is where they go. Um, you know, it, they could see a rabbit and just take off, um, you know, or they see a puppy or someone walking a dog and they try to catch up. Um, and, you know, it, there's so many things that can uh, draw the attention of a child. And then once you in, introduce the uh, water hazards that creates that uh, threat. And then of course, always you have the uh, predators uh, that is uh, most certainly has to be looked at, but, Hopefully they've got some good camera systems there that uh, will show all the parking lots and all the areas. So what do you think? I saw that there was a local, there was a dive team that came in and quote unquote, I don't know for sure because I didn't speak to them myself, but supposedly a, a private dive team came in and dove the perimeter of the lake the other day. And then huh? FBI came back. Like, wouldn't that be the other way around that FBI would search it and then no, you never know. I mean, you know, uh, who took up the, the calls and uh, who showed up and, you know, who gave the, you know, it. it's not like, you know, anyone can most certainly offer their services and come out. It's not an active crime scene. Uh, now, I do agree that there has to be certain coordination that if anyone's going to come in, they contact the right authorities and say, this is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it. And if we come in contact with something suspicious, this is how it will be handled. And so uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, people that, you know, if anyone ever showed up that had, a, 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 you know, the abilities to search that water, any area is much appreciated. Um, and I can't see anyone turn them away at, you know, regardless of what the timeline was. Yeah. So I did play, I do have the Broadcastify version which I did play earlier and I'm going to break them out to separate videos either, either later today or tomorrow. Um, I have when they actually, the first response coming into it. And then the father does say there is a party going on in this pavilion here. Uh, the father was seen over here when cops were on scene in this area, but there was people at this pavilion. And at one point in the, um, and the thing that the cops were asking people if they'd seen the kid, and they said no. So, I, I don't know. It's just all too suspicious. I mean, all it takes is for one person to grab him quick. And, and and you would have, I mean, it's not whereas it would be a family or, or, or I mean, it, it possible, but more than likely, you're looking for that lone wolf predator that's, that he's there for one purpose. Um and he has absolute control of wherever he's going to take a child if he is a predator and how he can, um, whatever ruse that he uses to lure that child away because doing it in a busy park and if you don't know who the parents are or where the parents are, um, you have, you know, there's certain risk factors. And um, is that the case? Don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I did do some victimology stuff. There was a reporter that uh, with the Yakima Review, which is in my title. So if you're going to be following this a little bit, uh, go check out that uh, the article. She did a very good job of asking the aunts and the mother on who Lucian is and what he like his uh, abilities to do what he does. And um, as a kid. And uh, one of them was his, his grandmother had a swimming pool. So he knew how to swim underneath water and how to come up and take breaths and stuff. So uh, I found that very interesting when you're speaking water here, that the river would be moving way too fast. You wouldn't be able to keep up with it. Um, but this lake, um, I don't know. I just think he'd, he'd be up on the top of the water by now if he was in this lake. 
a lot. So there depends was what, it, 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 it depends on what uh, he had that day to eat. And um, because it, it works a lot on uh, that if uh, anyone goes in the water. Uh, I've seen them stay down, um, well, it, actually about two weeks. It depends on the water temperature, depends on what they had and uh, when they had something to eat and what type of foods it were um, for certain uh, events to occur and as they, uh, if they're going to uh, float or not, and uh, which is, is a terrible topic to talk about, but it's the realities of, of, of how people are found sometimes and what causes them to float and everything. But, um, and, you know, but I have seen small people, um, more women than not, that will stay down far longer than man will. Oh, interesting. I thought maybe because the smaller they're, the, they are, the less their body mass is. But I guess that works in opposites, right? Because it, the smaller their body mass is, the less buoyancy they have. Well, once they swallow. You know, yes. And uh, because, you know, it, it it just depends on so much stuff, their eating habits and, uh, you know, or are they obese or are they very, very small? Do they eat very little? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that plays into that. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, but the, so, um, uh, the three minute response time, locking it down, and how long was he missing from the time that he was first noticed? And how long did the family search prior to calling law enforcement? Well, that's a very good question. That's what the, the answer is I don't have. And okay. um, I have from when I play my, I, I played the thing and it's more towards the end. So 718, I have a video clip from 718. And when I, when I go and re-upload them, um, I'll list the time frame. So when the video starts, I'll play it straight through so that when you're stopping and pausing, you can redo the, uh, and I won't put any intro on it. It'll be right to the chase of the actual uh, time so that you can go 718 and at 00 is 718 and go from there. So um, I have from 718 to 748 that I played earlier. And towards the, I think it was like halfway in the middle is when, um, when uh, I don't know, I think I was actually in 17 minutes on the video. Um, so I don't know, it, was, it says around 710 and I would say probably around 730 the police showed up at the park. I mean, that's 20 minutes of somebody getting a head start. So, so he was so uh, he was seen it on that camera at around seven ten. You think? I I think so. I just okay. don't know. I I have to go back through and see if we can get a confirmation. Uh, they and, weren't giving specifics on him being seen at the camera because the the police uh, claimed while the search was going on that that was uh, uh, under investigation. So, with that being said. I'm leaning more towards an abduction because they don't want to release the time you have seen on that camera or they're not ruling that part out yet. I, I should okay. say it that way. Well, yeah, I mean, it depends where, which way he's heading and, you know, did he backtrack? Um, was he seen on the camera more than once and who else was seen on that camera that might've been following or, or, or watching, uh, which is all critical. And how many times was he seen on it? Um, and how far was he seen and by who from his own vehicle and family? Because that's really not that long a period. You know, if, if your kid's missing and uh, in the playground, of course, you're going to go check all the common areas and then call law enforcement. And if you only talk about a 20 or 30 minute window, that's very short. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just don't know. I mean, they went right to the to the when we were listening to the clip. Um, the one police officer was speaking with the dad over here by the pavilion, someplace down here, and then the other one was already headed over here to the river. Yes, that's what you do. Uh, that's that's standard and what you should do because they understand that uh, the water hazards, 
that when you have a missing child, you close, you, you, you go to the areas that are the most dangerous to them, which is going to be highways and, and, and water dangers. And um, because um, if they're still up there or around in the area wandering, um, you won't be able to intercept them. Here, this is, so Amanda's in a, lo a local there. Um, yes, and the reports earlier that day of a suspicious man standing next to the bathroom. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know that either, but I'd have to fact check it, check it in order to make sure that that's truth. Yeah, so you um, have to I just, I just had, would have to figure that out on the police scanner or by an eyewitness account, I guess. Yeah. Um, Plus, wherever the bathrooms are to, related to that camera. So, yeah. so, so here's, so there's a local that says there's a camera right here. On the corner, this is where the, there's a train, like a train wagon inside there, and it's all caged in. So whatever it is means something. There's a memorial wall here. So I have a feeling that there's a camera watching this memorial wall and watching the parking lot. Um, this is where the bathrooms are. This is the playground. And then this is a pavilion where there's like, it's all full of picnic tables. And then you have Walmarts over here. This is Walmart's parking lot. So that's not that far when you look at it from a picture. Uh, this is kind of deceiving, but we're at 50 foot increments is about an inch. Uh, down here in the corner, it says 50 feet is about an inch. So, um, and this is a steep embankment and there's an embankment down this way as well from the, from the park here. So, uh, Kelly said, is it true or still valid that most victims are found within three miles of the place they went missing? I know in the park services, that's probably uh, uh, very valid in uh, some of the uh, state parks and uh, U.S. parks, federal parks. Um, uh, but um, as far as, and now there are certain rules about abductions and homicide victims that they're a little bit further outside that boundary. They're... They, some of the training we had, it was a seven mile circle, uh, 10 minutes or seven miles back in, you know, was pretty well a rule of thumb back then. Uh, but on people that are walking or um, uh, may have injured themselves or um, got in trouble in some type of water uh, hazard, uh, that would be most likely. I would, you know, I would most certainly have no reason to doubt that uh, stat. And why wouldn't the cops say which camera they got Lucian on? So I read an article. I think you were here the other day when I read the article. When uh, he wouldn't tell where he saw him at on the camera, um, which I don't know if that means that the um, the parents, they wouldn't want the parents knowing or the public knowing. Um, I just thought that was kind of, I mean, they thoroughly searched this. You saw the search patterns. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if he, if FBI came and searched this water, hopefully they searched the whole thing so they could rule this, clear this water. What day of the week was this on? What? The, when I played? No, no. Right? The when, when he went missing. He went September, uh, September 10th, which was a Saturday. Okay. Well, okay. So, there should be a lot of activity there. I mean, you'd had everybody from fishing to walking and um, so they would, you know, uh, it's one thing to abduct a child when there's no one around. It's another when there's a, a lot of activities. So when there's a lot of activities, you think that uh, it's less likely to abduct them? Um, yes. Or, or um, less. Well, I mean, it depends, you know, because you only from this choke point, the only abduction point you really would have um because if you go out towards the river, you, you have a centralized parking area that and everything yeah. else is out. You would have to bring them wherever your vehicle is parked. If you're there looking for a child, you're going to park in a very uh, accessible, easy uh, area to get out of. Um, and which that parking lot is that. So there's only a limited area, whereas that if you took a child from some of those playgrounds 
you have to take them to that common parking lot. There is, yeah. and, and so it's a choke point that if you abducted them from any of the other playgrounds, where is your car parked at? How far do you have to trick this child? And if there's a lot of people there, you know, they're going to say, well, I saw a child that was crying or screaming or what was the ruse to get that child away? Because it, it's not like there's a lot of different areas where they could park that I can see other than that one uh, parking lot. Is there additional parking lots? Well, so there's a parking lot down here, which there would be a downward, like this is uphill from this parking lot. Uh huh. So if he was to take him and go over here, there's no way because if the dad was all around, if the dad was over here changing a diaper in this parking lot and someone took him and went to this parking lot, there's no way. The only thing I can think of, though, Steve, is I don't know if you can get through here, but I was told that there's RVs all parked in here. Like kind of like a homeless encampment, but you can't call it a homeless encampment. It's just people with RVs and they're just parked along here. So mm -hmm. my thing is, is if he was seen heading southeast, which this is north, this is south, east, west. Um, yeah, he's going he, into an area that if you're going to abduct him over in that area, you have to bring him back northwest or to the west to get to a vehicle. Yeah. Like, I mean, maybe if he made it, because this is, um, there's a big, huge, steep hill here, too. So this is up ground from down here. And I would say it's probably about a 40 feet down, like on the hill. This is actually a bleacher section in, built in to the uh, hill. So the top of this is flush with the grass. And then you got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe. So let's say that those are one foot each, like sitting down bleacher style. Um, I mean, you're probably looking at like four, I would say probably 40 feet up on an incline to come down here. But if that's the case though, I mean, there's tracks all over this thing. I mean, I don't know if you can get in there, but. Uh, I mean, it's totally surrounded by water. That's what I'm saying is that there's, if he goes south, southeast, everything is, is uh, almost like fenced off. I mean, and so the only way that you could abduct the child is bring him back to the north or northwest. If he's, yeah. if you found him in the southeast, I mean, you know, these predators and, not to argue anyone's point of, or, or possibilities, yeah. but if he's abducted and he backtracked and came back to the north, I would look at, yes, that more likely. But if he was traveling southeast and he got in some of that area, um, I, it's far less likely. It's more of a water hazard. Just my gut feeling right now. Yeah. So there was uh, a local that did send me uh, some information. Uh Let's see here. But I never work off gut feelings. I may have gut feelings, but that doesn't mean that's what it's just <laughs> because you have to okay. go with where the evidence is. We have the video. <laughs> Law enforcement has that video. They're going to be looking at everybody when they got there, how long they were there, that passed that camera, who was by themselves, who was possibly standing watching children that had no children. They're going to analyze that stuff. Yeah, the, a local a local sent me this, and it says, what I'm more worried about is that there are several homeless that live next to the river. Some even have them slightly under the ground. Not even joking, while there were volunteers out searching, they were standing there, and some lady stuck her head out of one and informed them that they were standing on her roof. I guess it just looked like a pile of sticks. That's concerning. Well, yeah, and how how far if they're able to do that? I mean, I yeah. Well, there's a homeless encampment, so I mean, this is a ways, but there's a, this is a homeless encampment right here, Steve. 
south of these are all homeless. It's called Camp Hope. And I believe the trail comes all the way down here. And then, I mean, you can sneak through here, but um, that's a ways away. But I mean, if they go over there to Camp Hope to get food and stuff, I mean, I don't know. Now, is that Camp Hope uh, south of that big lake that you just showed? Yeah, so okay. yeah. here's Camp Hope right here, and then the pond's way over here. Yeah. Uh, this that's is a long way. That's a long ways, yeah. yeah. The other thing I was thinking is, here's a cement mix company. Um, this lake, I don't know if it's been searched or not, but it uh, there's got to be a camera here at this ready mix someplace. Um, I'd imagine that's been used. I don't know how deep the water is here or whatever. The only other option is, is having a way to get across the river and there's a road right here. So, but that'd have to be really planned out. Yeah. And it, it, I mean, it's a sad story regardless. I mean, it, it, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't look like it's going to end well. I mean, we're talking about what uh, over two weeks now. Yeah, so it would have been two weeks on Saturday. So this last Saturday would have been two weeks. Um, and that's why I think that FBI came back out there because by now, um, I'm sure that they, when they investigated it, I'm sure they asked the parents when the last time it was he ate. Um, and this being around 7 o'clock, maybe they ate right before they went to the park. But it'd be interesting to know what he ate. And... Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I I, uh, I saw you made some headway over there in that uh, Delphi case, huh? I don't know. Uh, uh, hopefully they have. Hopefully they found something. The search has ended. Is that a good sign? Um, you know, that was a, a, a search that lasted uh, almost four weeks. So maybe they've had some uh, headway. Uh, won't know until whatever they recovered. I know they're going to recover something from the river. Now, is it related to Delphi? I don't know. But uh, anytime you have a river crossing and a bridge and a populated area, every criminal in the world uh, throws things off of it. Uh, and then including citizens and people that are mad at their spouses, they throw phones and rings and metal and uh, just about everything you can imagine off a bridge. So they, there's no telling what all they recovered. Um, while they were searching that river. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's been uh, interesting. I always I always pop in, and a lot of times I'm watching, but don't comment, and uh, sitting back and watching. And you guys, uh, what's that one lady's channel that goes on after you? Uh, Christian uh, is one of them, and then you got Marvin yeah. Frank, and then you got Crime and Shame, uh, uh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, I see. Yeah, uh, it, it's always interesting. It uh, makes for a good uh, a good evening of watching real true crime creators uh, speak because I can bounce from one to the next to the next to to see different views and and different info and it, it's uh, exciting for me. Yeah, and I appreciate everybody that comes in and pops in every now and then. True. Uh, um, um, Crime with Sunshine. She came in the other night, and uh, that was uh, very pleasant to see that she was there and uh, following around. And uh, um, and I, like I said, I spoke out about that uh, what she does, and I most certainly appreciate because she was one of the first ones that led me towards you was, was oh, her nice. channel, and uh, uh, and uh, I most certainly appreciate everything that uh, your group does and um, uh, checking with convictions and. Um, and all that sluggish sleuth, uh, great community. Yeah. So here, I'm going to send you some information. I believe sure. it is connected, but no, I'm reading what I was sent and I'll send it to you after this. I won't okay. show. Huh? Okay. I Absolutely. Won't show, no problem. I won't show faces on here, but I'm, it says, but I'm not positive. This happened on the 15th posted on the 16th. I have scanner feed from that day. The man that is in this post was about 
was about has done this numerous other times. This is the Walmart close to the park. It was a couple days after Lucian went missing, but I guess he frequents the Walmart. I reached out to this girl and have been in contact after this post. I have more to send. Um, it's a post of a, of a girl with a phone number, of a little girl with a phone number. I went to Walmart at 9 p.m. last night. There's a post on it, and that shows the post of the picture of the guy. Uh, this was shared in the post of the Walmart one, but she also describes her experience with him. And um, uh, my kids just showed me this post. Um, these were comments on the post. I guess he was her was harassing searchers out looking. So I don't know. It'll be interesting. Yeah, he didn't run across the right searcher. <laughs> Oh, no, and, and Walmart's not a place you want to hang out at. I mean, inside, they actually have, like, undercover police officers that walk the floors. Uh, they also have cameras all over the place. So, Walmart, if you're looking for kids, that's the worst place you'd ever want to go to. Yeah, um, yeah, it won't work out real well for you if you run across the, the right uh, person that will um, stand up for that child or for that woman or any, any predator that's attacking anybody. Um you know, there's certain times you have to stand up and do what's right. Yeah. Um, any other any other thoughts here, Steve? No, no. Um, I, but send me that material. I'll look at it. And I just left Darkness Exposed. She had a live uh, uh, earlier. And, uh, oh, nice. She had invited me on. And uh, she has an interesting case that she's working on. And uh, but that's, the most the little, that's the little kid, right? Or is that the other one? With no, the no, no. That's the lady in uh, Georgia that uh, oh, yeah. sent the text message. Uh, yeah. Debbie that sent that text message that uh, uh, they found her. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've been it's following. very weird. It's it's weird. It is a strange case, absolutely. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll get out of your hair and um, send me wherever you got. Yeah, Debbie Collar. Yeah. I, I, I've forgotten the last name. But uh, most certainly, if I can help you in any way, just uh, reach out, and I'll be glad to do anything I can for you. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll get out of your hair, and um, a great show, <laughs> and uh, keep up the good work. It's always a pleasure to have you, and everybody that's – thank you, Steve. Everybody that's in chat, if you're not subscribed to Steve, Steve is uh, True Crime Web. Uh, he's got very good content over there. He's a ra retired detective down out of the state of Georgia. He's covered a lot of cases, recovered a lot of bodies from water. Um, I just love his shows because he takes the law enforcement experience with it. And uh, it's definitely a good thing. So I didn't realize you were still alive. No, you're fine, darkness. Um, that's all good over here. Um, I came in late, but this is a longer live for sure. <laughs> yeah, I've been live for three and a half hours, and I'm going to wrap it up here. We're going to show this uh, sweet boy's face. Uh, these were comments underneath. And um, for the people that are local that are sending me stuff, uh, even though I run like seven different groups helping other missing people, um, when I say groups, they're like individualized helping the actual parents. So don't get discouraged if I don't respond to you all the time. Like while I was live, I actually had uh, several phone calls with missing families. So I just want you to know that I'm not ignoring you and to keep sending the stuff. I do see it. I just have a plethora of information that comes into me. And uh, I do have people that help me. And um, it's really hard to keep up. Um, I have groups of people that talk directly with the actual people and then what i do from there is is when i'm needed i go and help them directly as well um but so i i'm not ignoring and i cover as much as i can and um everything is appreciated as you're sending stuff in and when you come up on the panels it's really appreciated um two photos i already seen those okay so that's good um let me just see what else i got here um, my sister, hold on here one second. Someone from your chat sent me this through Facebook and wanted to get it to you. Oh, cool. Um, 
Oh, yeah. No, I know. I saw that. So uh, things don't add up here. But all I can say is, is that these parents are victims until they're not by law enforcement. Um, here's a post that says, my sister-in-law was there yesterday with her two grandsons a couple hours before the four-year-old came out missing. She said there was a strange man acting real sketchy, hanging around the bathrooms, and then a five-year-old uh, grandson went to use the bathroom. The man followed him in there. This could very well be a kidnapping. She did report it to the sheriff's office. And then I did see another post that somebody else put that the mother was there at the park. I don't know if this stuff is true. The biggest thing is, is that it'd be nice for the police department to come out with another um, press conference, even if they can't tell all the details, but um, understanding where they're more leaning and if they can clear out that lake yet. And if they can clear the river for the sections that they did search, because that would help everybody here. And uh, the best thing is in, in any case where a kid goes missing, whether there's water, water or not, is just to constantly share out the pictures. Even if you think that the parents are guilty, even if you don't think they are guilty, um, it's always best, even if they are guilty, to show out the pictures, because is that one that one time that you should have been showing the pictures and the kid was found one mile away from where, where they're taken from and nobody was believing it. They, they always think that the parents are guilty and all it takes is, is for spreading that picture everywhere and getting that one person to remember something. And um, I know this is a long stream. I'm going to wind it down. Um, this is a long time. We just want to bring them home. Um, what I do want to do though, is I always say, if you, let's show his beautiful face here before I wrap this up, uh, this little boy, man, and he has longer hair now. Oh, that's not it. We want this one. And then this is probably from a while ago. He's just a sweet little boy, uh, full of energy. Let me see what this one is. Here's a more recent picture of him. So there we go. We're going to share that out. And um, level-headed, I'd like to talk to you in Discord ASAP. I'm hoping you can connect at Bling and myself in Discord. Uh, yes, totally, Karen. I will get that done right after this. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. As I always say, if you see something, say something. I'm going to play my intro as my outro here just to wind ourselves down. And um, as always, if you see something, say something, all right? And uh, do the right thing. Uh, if you're out there, you're watching this and you have Lucian, do the right thing. Go, go, like, drop them off at Walmart and go drop them off at the police station. Go drop them off somewhere where he's safe and um, with an adult, preferably. And uh, until the next one, see something, say something. Oh, walk on, oh, walk on, my channel. channel. Level, level headed, Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and set the bell notification to all. Please also share this. Let's get into it. Don't wait up. I've been working hard every day, living dreams for a pay stub. Yeah, straight up. Five years later, like I said, I would make it on my way up. It's all love. Coming from the nation, made a foundation, true stuff, yeah, too tough. We ain't giving up on our dreams, everything is ahead of us. Stay true to your path, it's not where you start, it's all where you're at. It's where you end up when your back's to the mat. Do you cripple the flat or get up off your back? Deliver these facts to see them react. The stadium's packed, they all gonna snap. The motivated attract, the isolated attack, the frustrated hit back. Yeah, we move fast. I wanna change everything. Look out there, the crowd all screaming I wanna change everything